If you're a sewing street or yarn lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody on this bright Friday morning? How are you all? Garden furniture's arrived. Hooray! Ooh, that's <coughs> not a good start, is it? Right, now, before I do anything, I've got to remind you that if you got one of these, today is the first day. Now, the voucher that's for today is only available for today. So if you want to take advantage of the first one, it is today. And I'll tell you what it is. It is 50% off yarn. I'm, I'm holding it like that because I'm covering up the code, you see. Do you want to come and sit? Oh, you want to go above? Oh, not here. Oh, okay. It's very difficult working all these different directors because they all do different things, don't they? There you go. 50% off yarn underneath my finger there. There is a code that you use, but anything off Yarn Lane, <coughs> Yarn off Yarn Lane, it's 50% off. So that code is only available for today. There's another code for tomorrow and Sunday, but that code is only for today. Right, shall we have a look at today's early bird? I think you see what it is, can't you already? You may have seen this before, you may have not, but look, you don't get that. Look at all of this. I know, I know, I know. Now, we've knocked off, for some reason, £16.92. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. Two-way split pay, £49.99. They're all fat quarters. There's 67 of them. Now, if in this one, there are two misty blues. You won't get two misty blues in yours, I don't think. But for some reason, when I was putting them all out, I realised I've got two misty blues in mine. Anyway, I look at them all. Look at all of those. I know they're pretty, all of these, they're all fat quarters. 
There are 67 of them. 67 fat quarters. So what does that mean? Four into four. Hang on, I'm just working it out. My brain's not working up yet. So four into 67 goes one, carry two. Four into 27 goes eight. Six fours are 24. Seven fours are 28. 16 and a half metres, is it? Does that work out 16 and a half metres, Han? Is it? She's not sure. Well, divide 67 by 4. Oh, 16 and 3 quarter metres. You get 16 and 3 quarter metres there for your 99 pounds and 99. Imagine having that in your stash. Look at them all. All of those, all of those, all of those. Aren't they brilliant? Every colour you can imagine, really. And two misty blues. Yes, I know, look, I've, well, you can't see it from there. You'll see it later. I was I've, um, I'm ripping up my stair carpet yesterday and I whacked myself with a claw hammer and it's taken away off my finger. Anyway, beautiful. Right, while you're checking out, let me say a few hellos. Uh, Galeni says good morning. Christine says good morning. Marie says good morning from Islington's cousin. Susan says good morning. Karen says good morning. Anne says good morning. Leslie says good morning. Glenny says got my voucher ready. Patsy says morning. John, morning, everyone. It's nice, isn't it? Keep going through, though. Keep going through for this because it's £99.99. and pence. You can pay it on split pay, two split pays, 49 99 I know, aren't they lovely? I'll leave you to look at those for a second. Now, remember, the, the, the voucher today is just for yarn today. Just for yarn. But have it ready for tomorrow and the next day, because it's a goodie tomorrow and the next day. Oh, yeah, yeah. If you've got a sewing street, if you've never bought anything from Yarn Lane, right, the way you log in to the sewing... Uh, to the, if you've never bought anything from Yarn Lane, the way you log in is you just use your sewing street account details to log in. It's exactly the same. Remember, and once you bought this, once you've done your P&P, that's it for the day. So whether you come in and buy a consumable, whether you come in and buy some a dressmaking pattern or some fabric, oh, I've got some lovely new fabric today, uh, or come in and buy bag making stuff, or if you come in and buy, oh, yes, a book or all bits and bobs for your sewing, masterclass. Oh, the book's here, actually. The book's here. We like that book. Oh, I'll move out of the way. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Go on, close up. Karen, Karen Lizington's already got that. Morag says, good morning, John Crew. We're all watching. Oh, no, and all watching. Thank you. Um, yeah, so only one PMP for the whole day. One PMP for the whole day. Keep going through, keep going through, keep going through for those. Now, when you pack those away, Emma, later, there's an order that they have to go in. Could you make sure they go in the right order? No, that's the order that they came out of the box in. Yes. Right. There are, oh, let's have a look at today's menu. Should we look at today's menu now? So the menu is, oh, it's called Stash Builder. Well, that's not quite true. No, because a stash builder, it's your fabric stash, isn't it? Uh, consumables, it's consumables. And we've got three brand new quilt backings and then some bundles here. But they're not, I wouldn't call it a stash buster hour consumables slash interfacing slash backing slash velcro flat slash everything right okay back to that sussex seamstress at salvington top with rebecca harrison there it is oops goes up to a size 30 and we've got some lovely fabrics for that then uh we've got bag making well it's it's, it's everything you want to buy to make we've got stewart's book there we've got debbie's book there we've got baffer's kits there we've got all sorts of things going on so that's that one. Then we go to dressmaking tech. Now, this is a very special hour because uh, Rebecca's just going to go thing through things like seams and all different finishes to do with dressmaking. I've, I've put my finger on my glasses. I've got a great big fingerprint in the middle of my glasses now. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So that's a lovely hour there. That's where that book comes in. Then, of course, we run to Yarn Lane. Now, I've not met Sarah Hatton before. And we're doing these really, really lovely, like natural natural wool uh, jumpers and things. Beautiful. Uh, anyway, uh, there are three ways you can get in touch. The first way is by face, uh, email, sorry, email. 
email. That's that one there. They'll go straight through to Hannah. Second way is by Facebook Live, which are the ones I've been shouting out. Um, let's see, I've got any more. Uh, Helen says, good morning, John and team. What a lovely array of colours. Princess says, made it. She's woken up. Oh, now, do we wake up Jan or not? She's home. She's home now. She's home now. Uh, anyway, anyway, that's uh, Jan, 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 wake up. Right, and then the third way is by going to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. What you do is you click on watch the live show, and then you'll see uh, to the right-hand side there's a box that says send message studio. You can write your message in there, and they are the messages that come up on the bottom in a white box. So, hello, John, I love you. And we know who that's from, don't we? <sighs> Hug me. No. No, Hannah's from Hannah. She's been chasing me around the studio this morning wanting a hug. Right? But she, I, that, I, I brought something in for her to eat. She went, I can't smell. I've got no smell. And I'm like, oh, thanks. You it's not. She did her test last night. I do mine tonight. I do mine on a Tuesday and a Friday. What day do you do yours, Em? Oh, okay, she does it when she's kissed her boyfriend. So once in a blue moon, basically. Right, okay, so go back to the website. Scroll down the page. You will see that there will be two columns in a minute, you see. There will be show deals and then there'll be pre-order. So these are all the things we've got coming up for the next four hours here. The, uh, the yarn lane isn't here yet. So there's all the new, look, they're new. They're new, those, um, they're, then consumables start here. And they go on and 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 on. Oh, top. There's the first hour. There's the Sussex Seamstress top. The pattern there, 1550. Then we've got fabrics, bundles of fabric. Lovely. That's Country Floral Wildside on light blue. Then we also got it on the look. That's beautiful. Lilac berries. Meter and a half bundle, lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, then we have go on to bag making. Oh, that's a new fabric in the bag making hour. Oh, look, look, stop, 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 they patchwork fabrics. I didn't see those on the trolley. Are they on the trolley? Oh, oh, on the second shelf, that's why I didn't see them. Okay, there's Stuart's book. Debbie's book's in there as well somewhere. Oh, there they go. There's the um, Baffer bag kits. There's Debbie's book. It wasn't the So Eco book, was it? It was the bag book, wasn't it? Okay. There, look, now those, they're a brilliant Christmas gift, right? But we got Christmas fat quarters to make those with as well. I know, I know, I know. Think it's sort of everything. Oh, there's So Eco. Christmas wrappings or tote bags in there. Then I've got now, now I've got to tell you, this is the last of the New World Tapestry that we've got at the moment. Obviously we'll get more in the future, I presume, but for now. <coughs> Which book? Oh, then there's the book, there's the book, there's the book for um, Rebecca's second hour with all the techniques in it and everything like that. Fully revised and updated with a textile directory. Then all tools that Rebecca might use. And then that will be it. Twin needle. Oh, we didn't give her a twin needle. Oh. Oh, hang on. They're only red. I only see red mannequins. Oh, yeah. We're doing a proper mannequin show on Sunday. So they're just there if you want to pop in and get those. Right. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Should we start then? Let's have a look. Laurie says, morning, John. Team sounds like a great day. Her dentist for me. Love you loads. Um. Now, uh, Carol, the, the code is only if you got the little booklet last week. It's only if you got the little booklet last week. Margaret says, good morning, John, from very grey West Yorkshire. Looks like you've got a busy day ahead. Every day is a busy day here. And then Sue says, morning, John, loving the gift ideas whilst I'm at home recovering from my brush with COVID. Oh, Sue. Gift ideas. What gift ideas are we doing? Oh, the, the bottle, the bottle. The bottle holders. Right. Shall we make a start with our consumables then? We'll start with the new extra ride backings then, shall we? 
I've got two black ones. Black and grey. Or black and blue, is it? Oh, it's got its brand spanking new. It's rather lovely, this. 108 inches wide. This is lovely, this one. Uh, photo on the website's not very good. It's called Bloom 108 inches, this one. Bloom black on black. Actually, it's not showing nicely on the telly either. It looks lovely in real life. 108 inches. Bloom black on black. Right, let's have a talk about this because it's not black on black. The background is black, but these flowers are like an Air Force blue. I wouldn't say it was black on black. Good morning, John. I'm in bed with two dogs watching you. Jill. Sally says, morning, John. Watching as much as I can until my grandchildren arrive. Oh, it's going to be one of those weekends. This, I mean, all weekend this weekend as well. <laughs> then two more days. Tuesday, Wednesday, they're off me Ollie Bobs. Oh, hiccup. 12 99 Emma's getting overexcited for half a metre. Now, look, I need to show you this, right? This is how wide it is, look. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ready? It's 108 inches wide. It's lovely, isn't it? Don't just have to use it for uh, quilt backers if you don't want to. It's quilt weight, quilt weight, quilt, la 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 la. Quilting weight fabric, 100% cotton, machine washable, 108 inches wide. Oh, Carol's voucher book hasn't arrived yet. You definitely need it by tomorrow, Carol. Morning, John and all, watching breakfast, up watching breakfast. Don't get to much what now, the socials are back in the shop and I'm tea making. Have the telly on in the background for them to, oh no, you have to have a license for that, don't you? You have to have a license, so you can't, don't do that. Well, no, no, because in the pop-in shop, we can't have the radio on. Because we've not paid like a performance, no, because you've not paid a performance license, have you? But if they want to, I can sing, but I, I don't do any shifts there anymore, I'm too busy here now, so. And I forgot to go to the barbecue on Sunday, which didn't go down well. Yeah. Anyway, that's lovely, that one. 12 99 for half a metre. Say that again. Oh, you ain't all three. Of course, I'll do the next one then for you. So what would you like to do next then? Black, no, black and white. Yeah. This looks like a dress my mum had in the 1970s. You could make a dress from it if you wanted to. 108 inches wide. Morning, John Scott and all, says Bernie. Everyone's just waking up now, you see. Right, this one's very popular on pre-order. Georgina says, morning, John and team from a very drab rugby. Oh, Vix was at rugby last week, wasn't she? Not playing it, she was at the school singing. Look, though. Nice, nice frock, nice shirt, nice blouse. Beautiful. £12.99. That's beautiful, John. Isn't it lovely? It's gorgeous, isn't it? All right, all right, we'll finish that chat, thank you. I don't want to go to nursery. Keep going through that, it's very popular. That 108 inches wide, remember? Oh no, Jane says, morning John team, I haven't received my voucher book either. Oh, I'll have a word with Hayley Bryant, because she's in charge of that. In fact, you can message Hayley Bryant on here, on, on the Facebook fan page or the Facebook page and she'll sort it out for you. Linda on my bottom, morning all, looks like it's gonna be a good morning. I'm having to video it because I'm at Macmillan coffee morning till five. That's a long coffee morning till five, isn't it? Have a good day, Linda. What a good cause. It's brilliant that you're there. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, now, don't forget those of you who live in the Northwest, don't forget to buy your ticket for the uh, cocktail party for Maggie's. I'm, I'm waiter number four. I'm savoury nibbles waiter number four, I am. 12.99. Hina says, morning, John, I love this. It's beautiful, isn't it, Hina? Very good value as well. 12.99 for half a metre, remember? Tote bags would be nice. Somebody's in the main room. Uh, half metre, 
Beautiful. Somebody's in the room. Oh, yeah, of course it will be. Okay, I'll pop that one away. Now I've got white on soft grey. Lovely, this one. Very soft and delicate, this one. This is Hannah's, excuse me, Hannah's favourite. £12.99. Morning, John, you're looking very well. Unfortunately, I don't have my booklet either. Oh, no! We'll send Hayley Bryan a message on your behalf. You should have had your booklets by now. Anyway, isn't that lovely? Beautiful, I'll just hold it up for you because it's 108 inches wide, remember? Beautiful and subtle. That would make a lovely dress, that one, wouldn't it? 108 inches wide, really good quality cotton. Machine washable, quilting weight, dressmaking weight. Be nice as a border as well, wouldn't it, on a quilt? Lovely. Keep checking out. White on grey, extra wide backing, 12 99 for half a metre. Remember, it comes joined together, so if you buy four metres, you'll get four metres all joined up. That'd be a big, big quilt if it was four metres, wouldn't it? Doo -doo. I'm just copying Hannah's noises, that's all. 12 99 Keep going through. Make sure you check out. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, hello, Elliot. Hello. Elliot? Oh, well, they can ask you. I'm not going to ask you out loud. The question you've been wanting to ask Elliot all morning. Twelve ninety nine for half a metre. Chantelle says, morning, John. <coughs> My booklet has been delayed too. Please could you wish me and Rob a happy anniversary as I'm always making him watch you as you're great. Oh, Chantelle and Rob. Did I say Rob? Is his name Rob? Yeah, Chantelle and Rob, happy anniversary. How many years has it been, Chantelle? Oh, that's Elliot leaving the building. 12 99 you don't sound grumpy. Why is he asking you that? Says the grumpiest man in the building. <coughs> Elliot's just right saying to Hannah, why do you sound so grumpy? He's so grumpy all the time, Elliot. <coughs> like <this. sighs> Did you say that to him? 12.99. Morning all. Thank you for a wonderful channel, says Kate. Unfortunately, I haven't got my booklet either. Oh dear, I've opened a can of worms now, haven't I? Karen says, hi John, the code's not working. When I put the code in, it says it's not available for the yarn in my basket. Karen, we'll get on to it. We'll, get, we'll send Hayley Bryant a message now. Lynette says, morning from South Africa. Good morning, good morning. Chantelle said, married for five, together for ten. Oh, it took him a while to get married, didn't it? Have you watched Married at First Sight yet? Oh, I'm addicted. I'm addicted. I've watched all three episodes so far. It's fascinating to think which ones will stay together and which ones won't, isn't it? I'd do it. I'd do it. as I'd, I'd have done it. I, oh, I do. Well, I'm too old now, aren't I? Uh, hang on. The oldest person is 39 so far. Yeah. But imagine their face as I walk down the aisle. Be like, oh, like that, wouldn't it? Kath says, morning, John. Just watching for a short time today as we're going to Marwell too. Everybody's busy today, aren't they? That's not what I ordered. What did she say? Moo. That's not what I ordered. It's not what I ordered, is it? She's like a bit like a Catherine Tate character, isn't she? She's not funny. I don't think she's funny. I think she's sad. I think she's very sad. Well, no, no, no. She's very sad because she's just lost her dad, which I understand that. It's very sad. But then suddenly a mum appeared at the wedding and her mum had not been mentioned at all. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it for anyone. I'll be quiet. I'll be quiet. There's only 15 minutes left of the show. Hannah says we're going home in 15 minutes. Yeah. Right, better get on then. I've only got 15 minutes left. 12 minutes now. 12 minutes now. 
Right, okay, I'll just tell you. The white, the black one with white on it, there's only 12 metres. The white, grey one with white on it, there's only 15 metres. And the black on black? A bit more, a bit more. 18 metres, that. There you go, there's the white on grey. Uh, Jackie says, morning, John. Team Andrew says, morning, all. Looking forward to watching today, but my booklet hasn't arrived either. They're just emailing me, Hayley Bryant now. Right now, about the code and the booklets. H640, is it? It's got a different code today. Oh, this is H630, not H640, this one. Just slightly finer. It's just not quite as much loft as there is on H640. Now, it's already cut, isn't it, this one? This one's already cut into a metre piece. So if you buy four, you'll get four pieces already cut. Why, what project are you doing? Okay, so it's a metre in length and 90 centimetres wide. Cushion fronts, yeah? Insides of bags, tote bag. It's a metre. It's a metre by 90 centimetres. Fusible on one side, fluffy on the other. Six ninety nine. Morning all from Luxembourg, says Justine. Moin, moin. I wonder what that means. Is that rude? Have I read something rude? Moin, moin. Moin, moin. Are you happy with your garden furniture? At June, they're lovely boxes. It's arrived in lovely boxes. <laughs> I haven't put it out. It's gone straight into the garage to be stored for next year now. Stuart says, do you find the H640 leaves tiny dust from the fusible side when you get it out? Well, I don't know, Stuart, because this is H630, this one. Hi, John. It's my anniversary today, too. Darren and I have been married for 27 years. We're off on holiday next week. Can't wait from Julie. Oh, 27 years. Oh, I can't imagine being with anyone for that long. I get bored after 27 minutes, me. Morning, says Donna. Oh, it means hello. Moin, moin means hello in Luxembourgian. Moin, moin. It looks lovely. I've checked it, though, June. It's not the colour I remember ordering, but <laughs> it looks lovely. No, it is. I went back. I went back. When I looked at it, I was like, I'm sure I didn't order that colour. So I went back to my order form, and I did. But it was March I ordered it, so it's been, you know. Get the furniture out. Oh, no. Well, I won't be here next week, will I, June? I won't be here next week. I'm Tuesday, Wednesday here. Then I'm off on my holidays. Off on my heatwave holidays, aren't I? No, it's locked away in the garage. You can't go around and sit on it, Hannah. Oh, Louise on the bottom. Now, you've all suddenly woken up, haven't you? Receive my booklet, 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 in case you're wondering if anyone got one. Louise, thank you. So, Louise got hers, everyone. And it's yarn today. 50% off yarn today. Are you not going to check? Yeah, yeah, I've taken it all out, looked at it. Me and John next door got it all out. Well, of course I did. I'm not going to leave it packed in its box until next year, am I? No, no, I've got it all out. Check the glass on the top of the coffee table was all right and everything. I've taken a right gouge out of my hand with my claw hammer yesterday, being butch on the stairs. I tell you what's difficult, right, is you know the little bits with the, it's all right pulling the carpet up, isn't it? But then you've got all those bits of wood with the nail sticking upwards, got to, get, got to chisel them out, don't you? Heavy uh, sew-in interfacing, lining. She did what? And also, did you tell her that people couldn't use the code? Can anybody else, has everyone else used, tried to use the code yet, if you have got your booklet? Just so we can follow it up, that's all. 449, this is white extra heavy sewing interfacing. Now, what did we use this on last week? Was it in a bag making? No. We used this in something last week, didn't we? And I can't, oh. <laughs> Anna wasn't here last week. Oh. It's like that panto thing, isn't it? When the, the dame does the, the wallpapering. No. Oh, no, it isn't. Soon be, soon time for panto. 
Oh, no, Alan. Alan's damaged three ribs. You're always in the wars, you, aren't you, Alan? Audio pre-cut into that. I haven't opened it so you can see. You get a metre by 30 centimetres. I can't remember what we used this for last week. It was a stiffening in something, wasn't it? Have you eaten them already? Okay. So Hannah's had a Starbucks and she's had a punnet of raspberries that tasted of cinnamon. Did you, were they next to the cinnamon in your shopping basket? And that will teach you not to wash them. She bought cinnamon stick. Oh, there you go, cinnamon sticks. There you go, that's where it's come from. Right. Oh. Anyway, I've got one more. OXM454. Single sided adhesive bosal. <clears throat> and more, more, more stretching. Now, this is the one that um, you'll need for Becky Alexander Fox Frost bags later on. She's not in. She's not in, but when I do the kit later. Oh, okay. So this comes by the half meter. It's not already cut. It comes by the half meter. So if you order three meters, it, it's like cutting off the bolt for you. It'll come in a three meter piece. Oh, what's the matter? That's a funny noise. Eleven ninety nine. No, 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 it's fine. Uh, uh, we're, we're working on, on the, the, the booklets at the moment. 11 99 Sticky on one side. Debbie used a lot of this on her bags as well. Sticky on one. Well, it's not sticky. It's fusible on one side and fused not on the other. Lovely. Oh, sorry, I'm just done. That's right. Now, for your dressmaking, oh, oh, and your bag making, you're just making. Becky Alexander Frost always uses the medium weight interfacing, doesn't she? So I've got that next. From Hemline. Oh, you're a long way away there, Emma. Judy says, good morning. I get that, June. I'm getting that. Uh, to keep saying uh, program, um, I think it's your um, uh, Wi-Fi. It's your Wi-Fi. That's what's wrong with it here. I, I'll tell you when I get it here. I keep getting a thing up saying, sorry, um, oh, what's it say? Broadcast interrupted, it says. That's what it says. I've been getting that this morning as well. I think it, I was told it was because our, in, our um, not interfacing, what's it called? Wi-Fi was a bit weak here. Our non-interfacing. For blouses, for button plackets, for collars, for insides of bags. We use it so often, don't we? Have you, do you follow Victoria Carrington on Facebook? Isn't that quilt she's made beautiful? She's so talented, that woman, isn't she? Don't tell her I said that, though. Oh, June says, I only get that when I'm watching Sony Street. Oh, well, maybe it's, maybe. It, do you not get it when you're watching me on a Sunday? Not here, I mean at home. That's strange, isn't it? Oh well, maybe we haven't paid we haven't paid a bill, I presume. Three ninety nine. Chicka chicka. Next. Well no, you can't say next because I don't know what it is. Oh, mask interlining. Right, here we go. So, now, the code you want is that, isn't it, that's on there? No, so I'll get rid of that then. So this, now, I read out all the, um, all, all about the, 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 the uh, technical thing. Basically, the people who own Visaline are a company who do air filtration 
you know, like under an umbrella, how different companies own different companies. They, they use this, right, because the pores are tiny. It's really, really good for putting in your mask, mask because it doesn't let the moisture through. <coughs> Excuse me, but it lets you breathe. Uh, if you're going to do a three layer, because we know that uh, masks are still compulsory in Scotland and Wales. So um, if you're making, still making your face uh, coverings, then make sure you put this. And what? At well, London public transport. And Ubers, you have to wear, wear one in an Uber. I thought you had to wear one in the popping shop. So I went to the popping shop yesterday to order my Euros. And there were loads of people in there. Well, not loads, but people didn't have, I always wear mine. Crazy Lorraine says, good morning. Good morning, Crazy Lorraine. I still wear mine everywhere, I'm afraid. There's more and more people in Tesco's now not wearing theirs. <coughs> Excuse me, I do apologise. It's a studio. It just makes me cough. I think it needs a good deep clean, that's what it needs. John, do you have interfacing for embroidery that washes away when you finish it? On the website, there's a multi-pack with all different ones in, but we don't sell it on its own, I'm afraid. We did when we sold, oh, that was at Sewing Quarter, we used to have embroidery machines, we used to sell it a lot there, but as we don't have embroidery machines here, we don't stock it. Now, if you are making face coverings, you want a bit of um, aluminium across your nose. Then I've got that here. Fablastic, it's called. Fab and it's got an adhesive strip on it, so you just peel the back off and it sticks to the fabric. Jackie still wears hers in masks. Uh, Alan, thank you very much indeed. I'm just going to take a slurp of my water while you're looking at that. You get 24 of them in there. Don't know what else to say to you. Oh, there you go. You can see on the back there. You, when you make your mask, you just glue it, stick it onto the top. I'm presuming you must be all right if you put them in the washing machine then. Would you? It's on the outside. <laughs> Hannah's going to make a channel for hers. She doesn't want that stuck on it. On it. So you unpick the channel every time you did. You wash it. You washed it then. Oh, you'd leave it in, but you'd wash it in the channel. She got a new fridge freezer yesterday. No issues with the delivery. Amazing, it was. She said, but then the lady from another shop shouted at her because where Hannah lives, right? You have got the main road like this, and then there's a little ginnel between shops, right? And you wouldn't, unless you knew, you wouldn't know there's obviously green down there and the little houses and everything. So she always likes to explain to delivery drivers, that's where she is. Anyway, she was explaining to this woman from a uh, 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 shop and the woman shouted at her. Well, do you live there or don't you live there? She said. Anyway. Anyway, the man who delivered it was lovely and said the lady shouldn't have spoken to Hannah like that. He complained about her. 3.49, these are. Message on my bottom. Uh, good morning, John and crew from Algorfa in Spain. Love your shows, getting loads of ideas and goodies, and love only one postage, no matter how much I order. From Williford in Alicante. Williford, is that near Albia? Is Algorfa near Albia? Because that's where Mike and Julie's house is. Yeah. Because we fly to, when we go, we fly to Alicante. I've also got elastic. No, I've got no toggly bits. I've got elastic. Or elastic. As black elastic, as Hannah always says. Then a metre piece. 99p. <laughs> 99p. It's very boring to look at, isn't it? It's a metre of black elastic. This is like, remember when you were little and you used to stand like this? Do you call it cat's cradle? Well, when you, when you dance on it, do French skipping. No, not with fingers. Like I'm, I'm pretending my fingers are people's legs. 
like that, and you used to do that one over that one, and then jump and everything. Do you remember? Oh. Oh, Hannah wasn't allowed to do that when she was little. The other children wouldn't let her play. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Emma said, no, I wouldn't let you play either. Shh, shh, shh. You can't hear that at home. It's like somebody's put a bowling ball at one end and it's just rolling slowly along there. I'm not wearing Speedos. I would never wear Speedos to the beach going to the rain. Ian says, morning, John, everyone. Have a wonderful holiday when it comes. Have you selected your holiday clothes? No. Julie said yesterday, oh, I've nearly finished my packing. And I was like, I haven't even, I've ordered my suntan cream. I ordered my suntan cream and my after sun. And I've got my shampoo and my hair, my, my shampoo and my, what's this? B body wash. And I've, tried, and I've tried my swimming trunks on. That's all I've done so far. And I've, I've ordered my money. I've ordered my PCR for when I come home and I've halfway through filling in the lo locator form. Right, moving on. White elastic now. I can't quite believe it. I won't believe it till I'm actually landing there. You know what I mean? 99p for the white elastic. Me to piece. And now if you buy three, they're already cut. They don't come joined together. Oh, uh, uh, good morning, John. It's the last day of dog sitting. Can you tell Monty to bring my slippers back or the squeaky pig gets it? Love from Julie. Right, hang on. Monty, slippers. Fetch. Fetch the slippers, Monty. Go, fetch, fetch. There you go. Sorted. Uh, Justine says, make the channel, but leave one side open so you can take the metal piece out. Yeah, yeah, could do that. Anna never washes them anyway. She just throws them away and make no, she just throws them away and makes a new one. Right, where next? Um, oh yeah, now these are bun Oh, is that not in the show? <laughs> Emma. Emma's in charge of lamps. Why is this lamp here? I do apologise, it's not in the show. I just came in and saw it there and presumed that Kat had put it in the show. Because the, the, whoever's in the day before, so, so, so Vicky and Kat will have set this up this day. Right, I've got bundles of fabric here. They look like they're different sizes. They are. So I've got three three metres and one five metre. Do the five metre one first of all. Light grey. Now it's 44 inches wide. Remember, it's not extra wide backing. It's 44 inches wide. But you get five metres, but you do save £1.50. 33 pounds and 40 pence. Very good for your stash. This is stash building. This is stash building. 33 pounds and 40 pence. A soft, pale grey, that one. Willow says, good morning. Good morning, Willow. I'm sure I know a song about Willow. Do, do, do. Oh, yes. yes I do. Well, no, 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 because it sounds a bit rude if you just say it out loud. <coughs> uh, £33.40. Righty ho. I've got cream. Now, these are three metres, ending 30. Yeah? Look at me, I'm packing away for you as we go. Oh, except there's no bag with this one. I think two different people must have packed these. Cream, three metres. You're still saving £1.50, though. They throw that £1.50 around willy-nilly, don't they? Aching and tired after graduation day of the University of Birmingham for my daughter. Now got get to do it again at Symphony Hall for the oldest daughter. Putting my makeup... Oh, there it is. I just... My interrupted... was just interrupted them. Putting my makeup on, don't make me laugh in case I slip and look like the Joker. Oh, it's all right, because I'm used to Hannah and Emma's makeup. Nineteen, yes, you have. Yeah, £19.44. Emma's got mascara on today. That's it, that's her makeup regime for the morning. And Hannah has worn makeup when she arrived to work in a party dress one morning. 
I think you'll find it was after her very first date with Steph and she was still dressed from the night before. No, I'm not, I'm not saying there's anything, no, I'm not saying there's anything untoward, not saying there's anything untoward, but she was, you know. Oh well. <laughs> 19 pounds and 44 pence. 44 inches wide, this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Well, H Hannah said nude, didn't she? That, John, that's the one in your right hand. As if that's going to be nude. If you're a bit poorly. Mind you, I'd be a bit worried if my skin was this colour, really. Some people will be. I'm not. I'm digging a hole on our shut up. 1944. The year Elliot was born. No, that was Paul when he was 11. Uh, 19 pounds and 44 pence. You get one pound 50 off for some reason. Uh, that one pound 50 thing must be a thing that's in the computer and every time you make a bundle of plain fabric, it just must just pop up. Morning, John and team. It's my 33rd wedding. And a lot of people got married on, what is it? Are we the 3rd of September? A lot of people got married on the 3rd of September. Anyway, Julie, what's your hobby's name? It doesn't mention him. No. 33 years. My word. Mind you, Mike and Julie have been married 30 years next week. Yeah? That's terrifying. Well, no, no, no. To think that was 30 years ago. I remember the wedding like it was yesterday. I think I was filming a Poirot at the time. Right, then we've got the pale grey. No, it's not the same. Is it the same pale grey? This one's silver, three metre. Silver bells, silver bells. I have no idea what Hannah's singing now. She's gone from silver bells to summer night city in, the, in, one, in one sentence. Everything I do, I do for you, she's on to now. 1944 is your price. One pound fifty off, you get three metres of the silver. Robin, Robin and Julie, happy anniversary, 33 years today. What time of day, were you feeling a bit sick now? Quarter to nine on that morning, 33 years ago. Were you, think, were you thinking, oh no. I haven't got any more. Necessities are a fill. Oh, they've changed the box again, haven't they? Okay, in the box, you do get a black, you do get a white, you do get a cream, and you do get a silver. There you go. 32.99. You get 1,300 metres on each one. It's 50 weight. And they're the colours you're going to use constantly. Jennifer says, morning, John, when do you go on your holidays? I actually go on Thursday, start my holidays on Thursday. So I'm in here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Rebecca reads on on Monday. I'm in on Tuesday and Wednesday, then I'm off. And I think I'm back on air on the 28th. It's the 28th or 29th, anyway. 32.99. Morning, John. It's Ali Barton's wedding anniversary, she says. Well, oh, no. Oh no, because see, the husband buys her things like hoovers and ironing boards and nothing romantic or anything like that. Oh look, Ange, it's my 30th wedding anniversary today. Oh no, hang on, I'll read that again. It's my 30th anniversary today of one of my divorces. <laughs> that's a good one, that's a good one, Ange. Congratulations on your divorce. Well, I like it when friends have divorce parties. They're quite fun, those. Have you not been to one? Well, none of your friends will have been married long enough to do that yet, will they? Oh, oh no. Never ask Emma to be your maid of honour 
Not just a bridesmaid, maid of honour, because they she was maid of honour for a couple. A year they stayed married. A year. Uh, morning, John. What part of Kefalone are you going to? Oh, Mandy, I don't know. It's down south. That's all I know. It's only 15 minutes from the airport. That's all I know. Shall I do Hero next? Because I don't know what Hero is. I've never seen Hero before. Oh, look. Red, white, blue. Aurifil Hero Collection. Three large spools, 50 weight, red, white, blue. These would be good for um, the uh, Jubilee next year. <coughs> Excuse me. Tilly says, morning, John. You'll be away for my birthday. Sorry, Tilly. I'll think of you from my beach. They're lovely, aren't they? Red, white and blue, 50 weight. 24.99. No, I haven't done any packing yet. No, no packing yet. Oh, that. <laughs> But you can't smell anything, so obviously your taste's gone as well. $24.99. Loads, you got this in your basket. Make sure you check out. $24.99. Keep going through. That's a tortoise. Don't eat that. Come on, hurry up. I need to get home and watch tonight, last night's, um, what's it? I'm a bit addicted. Oh, can't you? I, well, you said earlier, you said we only had 15 minutes left. You got all my hopes up then. Hopes and dreams and all the fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. Of course, which colour would you like to do? Black with white on, extra wide backing. You need to check out now. It's going to sell out. You need to check out. It's 108 inches wide, 100% cotton. Nine metres left. And how many people got it in their basket? Uh, Lorraine says, I met my hubby at a disco 50 years ago today. Oh, you were only 15? 14. You were only 14. He was about... 74 then, wasn't he? Um, uh, hang on, 50 years ago. What will I do in 50 years ago? No, I was just starting grammar school. <gasps> no. <coughs> hang on. 50 years ago, I was just starting grammar school. Oh, my. That's 50 years ago. I can still remember the smell of my brand new satchel. And my little uniform. And my dad took me there and we sat outside waiting until I saw somebody I knew. And I dived out to go to walk in with them. Oh, 50 years. And that'll be in this week, won't it? Because they're all back to school. My Facebook is absolutely, the, the, what's it called? Like the timeline is just full of everybody's kids and grandkids going to school, starting at school. Fiona Hesford says, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Fiona Hesford. I met Dave at a primary school when we were five. We've been married 51 years this year. Oh, no, 51 years. So, hang on, you met him at five, but you didn't start going out with him when you were five, did you? You just met him when you were five. Here we go. That's that one. Do you want to do any of the others? Well, it's called black and black. It isn't black and black. They've called it black and black, though. Loads of this one in baskets. Need to check out. Morning, John and team. Oh, it's Julie Kelly. Julie, I sent those things to Sarah Green. I haven't spoken to her. I've not heard from her yet, though. I said I posted them all to her. Okay.
Now, who's that from? Remember, if you've got the code, it's for Yarn Lane. Your code is just for Yarn today. A few people are messaging and saying they've got issues with the Yarn. It's to it's fifty percent off Yarn. We are we are uh, Haley Bryant, the head of marketing, is in is, is aware of it, and she'll get she's sorting it out now. She's sorting it out now. Yarn Lane, it's yarnlane.com. Remember. Good morning, John, everyone. Bit late, just woke up, had headaches, so I went back to bed. Oh, went back to bed at four to sleep it off. Better now. Oh, this, uh, Jackie started out with Dave when they were 16. Aww. And then white on white, yeah, grey on white. No, white on grey, even. Look at the time, right? That's the first hour gone. Rebecca will be here in a minute. Doing that lovely Sussex seems just top. You get twelve ninety nine. Jan, oh, it's Jan. Jan's woken up. Everyone, Jan, I did try and wake you up quietly at eight o'clock, but I wasn't sure if you wanted to be woken up today. Looks miserable outside, but still a lovely day. Great to be at home. Oh, Jan, you see, it's the simple things, the little things we have to appreciate, isn't it? Hannah organised her new fridge. That was fun. It won't be. It'll be a mess by the weekend. Oh, it's all healthy, apparently. Apparently, it's all healthy in there. That won't last. Uh, Steph, the boyfriend, has his own box in the fridge because he, he eats rubbish food. Why, what's in his box, then? Dairy Lee Dunkers. Other Dunkers are available. Cheese strings. And what? I don't even know what a Lunchable is. Uh, yeah, he is only five. How old is he? Oh, he said he was 40. Oh, I was going to say, we've yet to meet him. Only, only Jeremy Joe's met him. Nobody else has met him. Jeremy Joe met him and got his name wrong. Yeah, he called him. He came in and he went, oh, I've met Seb. I've met Seb. And Kat was like, that's nice. And he said, yeah, I met him with Hannah the other day. And she was like, do you mean Steph? And he went, no, Seb. And then she went, he's called Steph. And he was like, oh. And then he couldn't remember if he'd gone, oh, hello, pleased to meet you, Zeb. Or whether he'd just gone, hi, like that. Anyway, they were at a festival. They'd all been drunk anyway, so it's fine. Bondweb on a roll. Now I'm surprised we've got any of these left. Three left. Three of these left now. You know what? We bought twice, well, more than twice as many as we normally do of this this time. Always flies out the door. Always very, very popular. Hmm? So useful if you're doing applique or applique. Was Emma Bradford all right yesterday? She messaged me the other day thinking she was saying she was in on Wednesday. And I was like, you're not Wednesday. You're not in Wednesday, love. Eh? 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 Oh, eh? Who used to do that? Eh? 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 Ah, oh, yeah. Eh? Eh? Ah, oh, yeah. I can't remember who that was now. Rightio, now very quickly, just before we go for a break, come with me. You may have missed the fat quarter for early bird special this morning. Here it is, 16 and three quarters worth of fabric, all cut into beautiful fat quarters, especially for you. £99.99, pence. you can get it in split pay, it's 49 99 twice. So you'll pay 49 99 today and 49 99 in a month's time. You're saving, for some reason... 16 pounds and 92 pence. I know. Isn't that brilliant? You get all of these. All of these. Are they all in? There they are. All of these. Da, 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 da. Anyway. 99.99. You, if for some reason, I've got two misty blues in this one, but you won't get two misty blues in yours. I hope. Ah. Uh. Let's try and work out which let's try and work out which colour's missing. <laughs> no, Hannah doesn't want to play that game. Right, make sure you check out loads of you coming in for these. Loads of you there for this. Oh, right now. I know this might sound a lot, 
but I've now got less than 30 of these, right? Warehouse have to cut these, and they cut us loads, but they said, we don't want to cut any more, don't want to cut any more. Buy them, buy them all. We will do it again. Buy them all, buy them all, and they'll have to do it again, won't they? Might take a while, though. Might take a while to cut that many fat quarters for you. I know, brilliant, isn't it? Do make sure you check out, though. You've got to check out. Check, 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 check it out. Oh, right, now i better do this because <laughs> we've only got three minutes in the break. I forgot about that, didn't I? Make sure you go through. Make sure you go through. Right, remember the Hero Aurifils I just showed you? Very popular. They're the red, white and blue ones. I, I, do you want me to go and get them or you alright got a picture? Hang on, uh, hang on. There you go, there you go, there you go. Very, very popular this morning. Brand spanking new, they're 50 weights. Red, white and blue, you get 1,300 metres on each spool for 24 99 100% cotton, it's Egyptian cotton that they take to um, Italy and they colour it and they spin it and they make it gorgeous, especially for you. 24 99 it's 100% cotton, remember. I'll be with you in a minute. Well, normally we put these all on a white board, don't we? And then we just carry the white board off with us. Do check out if you've got a hero in your basket. I need a hero, says Bonnie Tyler. Bonnie Langford, Bonnie Tyler, Bonnie Tyler. All the Bonnies sang that. Right, we're going for a break. After break, Rebecca's up. She's making this top. Oh, there it is. From the Sussex Seamstress, goes up to a size 30. And yes, you can lengthen it. We'll talk about that in the next hour. We'll see you in three from now. Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume. So I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse, um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her, um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's just, I just love her. Her, her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head, so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favorite things to sew, of course it's um, probably because of my uh, period background um, but I just love them I've got one here um, I love the structure of them um, the shape the bones make I, I just think they're beautiful um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was, it was really lovely. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com 
and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Right, now, before we start with Rebecca now, I just want to talk to you about the uh, voucher booklet, right? Some of you have messaged me and said, I've not received mine, I've not received mine. <clears throat> if you haven't received yours, you want to use today's voucher, all you need to do is ring the call centre. Oh, now, do you which call centre do you ring this one or do you ring the Yarn Lane one? You can, apparently you can ring this one. You can ring, and now they have a list of all the people who were sent vouchers. So basically, if you... Say that again. Oh, yeah, yeah. The people who got the book on Monday and Tuesday of last week, um, then you basically just ring the call centre and they'll sort it out for you. If you ring the call centre, say you want to buy some yarn uh, and you haven't got the code yet because it's 50% off yarn today. If you shopped when you were eligible for getting a voucher, if voucher booklet, then you, 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 they've got a list of all the names and everything. So if you are eligible for the voucher, you, they will uh, recognise your, your name and then, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Honour your, your discount. Right, shall we get on with this? Because we're going to make this today. Oh, this on the wrong side. This shouldn't be on my side. That should be on the other side, shouldn't it? We've had a bit of a duff break that time. Nothing's happened that should have happened in that break, have we? Righty-ho, here we go. Here we go then. There it is, right. So it's from the Sussex Seamstress, the pattern on its own. Now the pattern goes from an eight to a 30, an eight to a size 30. First time we've ever offered this pattern. It is called the Salvington Top. Now I wonder what's Sal is Salvington a place, do we reckon? She usually I would imagine picks so, places, yeah. Sussex she? maybe. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's £15.50. pence. Now, a few people already messaged me saying, oh, it's a bit short, it's a bit short for me, I wouldn't wear something that short. We'll talk about if we can lengthen it or a minute. Salvington. Oh, it's in Worthing. It's in Worthing in Sussex, the borough of Worthing in Sussex. And there's a windmill there, apparently. In old Amsterdam. Anyway, £15.50. pence. I'm not opening this one because you're going to see the one that Rebecca's got in a minute to open it. But it's fifteen pounds and fifty pence. It's a lovely, sweet little top there. I can't show you any any details or anything because I've not got. There's nothing written on the envelope, and I'm not going to open this one. Fifteen pounds and fifty pence. Be pattern. Now I've got some gorgeous fabric here for you. The one that the sample is made out of is this one. Now it's already. This is not available by the half meter. It's only available in the bundle of one and a half meters. If, and one and a half meters, I'm presuming, because right, I haven't got the book here, will be enough to make the largest size. Right. Already, there's fewer than twenty of these left bundles. Right. Now, I, it's a poplin weight. It's a poplin weight. It's forty-four inches wide. I'd, I'd say. Who's Nick? Well, there it is. There it is. I'll use, oh, I'll talk about my dodgy tape measure in a minute. Yeah, 44 inches wide. Isn't that lovely? It's like a cotton poplin. It's lovely, slightly lightweight than uh, your quilting cotton. But it's kind of got a mix of, like, I'd say, essence of William Morris and essence of liberty in there. Right, uh, Louise says, morning, John and team. You all keep me company and make me smile every morning. Oh, Louise, thank you. And Anne was on an aeroplane 51 years ago, 51 years ago today, going to Australia. They went for six months and stayed seven years. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? 
And Jane says good morning. Right, 19, it's only 19.99 for a metre and a half. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful, isn't it lovely? So what's this one called? This is called Floral Wild Side on Light Blue. It's more of a grey, it's, but it's lovely. These won't hang around. I'm telling you now, these bundles will not hang around. Right, there's 15 of those left already. Then, I know what you're doing, you're waiting for the other ones, aren't you? Next one is called Lilac. This is just beautiful, isn't it? Okay, now no one has checked out on this one on pre-order. It's made in Japan, it's beautiful, just beautiful. It's floral lilac berries, leaves on white. I don't know who's in charge of the names anymore. At 19.99, yeah, a meter and a half for 19.99. Haven't got any of them available by the half meter today, only in the bundles of one and a half meters. It's lovely, isn't it? Just wait with you, because lots of you are coming in for that. Shh. You can hear a rustling in the background. <laughs> oh, I'm used to that. People eating bags of sweets in me. <laughs> oh, hang on. Who's that? Sorry. Mrs. in Suffolk. It's yarn today only. Yarn, not threads. Yarn for yarn lane. Yarn only. Right now. Oh, this is the same as the blue one, but in a lovely green. Oh, this is nice. Again, metre and a half bundle, 44 inches wide. Wild Side on Green, that one's called. It's lovely, isn't it? Very good value, isn't it? Do you see that hand? Nineteen ninety nine. Now I've got two other fabrics to show you. The pattern's beautiful, isn't it? Right, now this is the one that you're going to see um, Rebecca using now. Now not everyone's going to be able to wear this colour because it can be quite draining as a colour. But again, you get a metre and a half. It's lovely though, isn't it? Chateau's Linen Look Cotton, this is. So, look, I was about to say, oh, it's that... Um, Acid washed linen, but it's not. It's linen look cotton. One and a half metres in the chatteurs. One, um, um, there's something wrong with that price. Has somebody missed a one off? Because that makes it 333 for half a metre. We don't do fabric at 333 for half a metre. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's <laughs> Is the red one the same price? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Linen look cotton in shutters, one and a half meters for nine ninety-nine. That's so wrong. But so right. Oh, oh no, hang on. Look how wide it is. <laughs> you are, get, look at this. Look, at, you're getting a tablecloth worth here, look. Oh my word, there's something definitely wrong there. 9 99 for a metre and a half. And I'd say it, was, it looks like it's 60 wide. Only available in the bundle, the one and a half metre bundle. It's 56 inches wide, 100% cotton. Um, when have you seen cotton? A metre and a half, so that's 333 for half a metre. Yeah, 10 pounds a top, bargain, says Helen. Exactly. In fact, uh, right, there's way too many people got that in their basket, so I'm going to move on. Um, you'll get more than one top out of that because it's so wide. Right, now I've got it in the um, wine. Now, now, if there's a blue one on the website, or is it gone? 
Okay, good. There was a blue one on the website earlier, and the fabric's completely wrong. So I don't want you to buy that one, but it's gone now. Right, again, look at this. Hang on, I'm going to check. I can't, I can't believe this is 9 99 Wine. It's 100% cotton. Linen, look. <laughs> look. I know. Oh, dear. They'll beat the heads will roll. That should not be 9 99 for a metre and a half, I'm telling you now. Because if you buy this one, if you buy either of these and you want to make the top a bit longer, you're going to have some fabric left over to make it longer. How brilliant is that? They're going to sell, this is going to sell out. The Chartreuse, I think, has gone, has it? Chartreuse has sold out. Okay, there's two of those left. So that's going to go now as well. That's going to go as well. Well done if you got that, because you shouldn't have done. Right, I won't go through any of this stuff now. We'll just put the pattern back in, the salvage the pattern, and we'll say hello to Rebecca Harrison. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> All right. I wish I, wish I got those in time. You've got the green one. You're fine. <laughs> uh, now, this looks a very simple top to make. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's nice and simple. Um, the, on, the only thing, if you were a beginner, I think the only thing that you might find a little bit tricky is the rouleau loops. There's a rouleau loop and uh, a button at the back right. and um, the placket, but it, it's not, it's not, it's difficult, not, it's not, not difficult. difficult at If all. you didn't want to do the rouleau loop, could you do something else? Um, you could just do a tab with a button yes, on it, couldn't yeah. you, if you didn't want to yeah. do a rouleau loop, I suppose. Yeah, you could do. Yeah. Uh, you or a bit of a last shearing elastic. What, to pull it over your head? No, to put over the button. Oh, yes. Sorry, so, so I thought you so meant that around the head. Oh, no, no, no. Hang on, I don't understand <laughs> that one. Uh, what no, did you no, say, no. Hannah? You can do a hook and loop. You can't yes. do a hook and eye. No. Because a hook and eye needed an overlap. But if you've got a hook and loop, yeah. that means they'll meet edge to edge. Yeah. Um, but there's lots of things. We can talk about that when we get to it. Yeah. Um, right, I have, I'm not going to open mine. No, no, I've got uh, mine I mean, open. Can you tell me, first of all, it does go up to a size 30, doesn't it? I mean, it does, Does it yes. tell you what sizes they yeah. are? Yeah, so we've got, so a size size 30, so this, this is all in centimetres. Uh-huh. So your bust for a size 30 is 140. 140, hang on, hang on, this is the biggest size then. Your bust is 55. Yeah, and uh, the waist is 120. And the waist is 47 and a half. Yeah, and your hips are 140. This then. doesn't go anywhere near the hip though, does it? No, no, no it doesn't. But if you wanted to extend it, you know you were saying yeah, earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. if you wanted to extend it, obviously you need to be aware of your hip measurements. Of course, yeah. In order to make sure that it fits Oh, yeah, because you're only just going down and sitting there and rungling. You need yes, to yeah, skim yeah. Your so hips you need well. to make sure that um, that's all in there. Fantastic. And yeah. all the instructions are very thorough, aren't they? They are, yeah, they are. And there's, there's uh, diagrams, um, takes you step by step, every, every you know. Um, and the patterns, we, we, we all, I always say when I, when I do her, um, Jane's patterns, that it's good quality paper. And I always fold mine, so I don't cut. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, so what size have you made on I've there, made then? it to a 16. Okay. Um, but I always, I just cut in and then you can do it to any... Any size you want. Yeah. Any size that you want. And then, and then you haven't... Uh, you know. Oh, yes, because if you cut it out to 16, unless you're going to trace them off. Yes. If you, if you cut it out to the 16, then you can't do anything else, no, can you? No, no. So, and, and, you know, because it goes up to a 30, which is not very often, is it? You get a pattern, really. No, exactly. That you, exactly. Um, so, yeah. So, you're just, you've got your two facings. Uh -huh. So, front and back. Um, and this is the bit that goes down the back. So you've got that, that slight opening at the back um, so you can get it over your head. Uh -huh. um, and then you've got your little cap sleeve. Right. Could you make like that. the sleeve longer? If you don't like the top, if you don't like your bicep -y area, could you make the sleeve a bit longer? Yeah, yeah, you could. You just have to be careful because obviously this is going in. Oh, yeah. So you just, you just have to be careful. So if you're going to make it any longer, um, measure around the top of your arm or where you want to measure it down to and um, make sure that you've got it, when when you're drawing this out you you know you've yeah because if you extend it you're going to be taking it you're going to be going in you, yeah. so you probably need need to sort of do that yeah 
Hang on, well, just show that again because we Robert, didn't see that. So, so, you you're doing, do so you're doing sort of down straight yes, rather, rather than, than following taper. that yeah. line mm -hmm. um, because all you're going to be doing is getting, that's going to be getting tighter and tighter. Of course, yeah. So yeah, so just be aware of that. Just just measure yourself all the time. But there's, plen like, there's plenty of fabric, mm -hmm. especially with these. Yeah, oh yeah. There's plenty of fabric for you to be able to make your sleeve longer and also make the top longer. But just remember, keep measuring, measure, 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 so that you uh, make sure that you've got the right, uh, you know, uh -huh. it'll fit over your hips and over your arms. Yeah. So, yeah, so we start with, so it's, uh, as you can see, there's not very many pieces to it, really. So it's nice and nice and quick. But we're going to start with uh, the back piece. So you've got a centre back seam. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got a... Um, a little mark, a little notch. So I've I've done mine in in uh, with uh, tracing paper. Right. Um, just where the opening is, and it's a centimetre seam allowance all the way around. On everything. On everything, yeah. Unless unless it's stated otherwise. Julie used a piece of ribbon on mine instead of doing the rouleau loop. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Oh, Julie, is this the top with you on Facebook going like this? She, she's done mod, she's mod, modelling it on Facebook. Ah. Oh. Yeah, it is lovely. Well, you got your battleship grey nails again this I've week. I got, yeah, I had a look. It's, um, oh no, what was it now? Because I thought it's not battleship grey, is it? It's, um, and that, now it's gone out my head. Okay, it'll come <laughs> back. <laughs> I've forgotten. I looked at it last night and I thought, no. What what is the name of that? And now it's gone out of my head again. Oh. So no, not a lot stays in my head these days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting it down to age. Oh, you have to write everything down like oh, me. Oh yeah, absolutely. And then you can't remember where you put the bit of paper. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. yeah. Or ev everything goes in a safe place, and then I yeah. can't remember where my safe place is. Now have we not heard from Kate Collector in Merseyside today? It's her birthday today, isn't it? Kate Collector in Merseyside, if you're watching, happy birthday. Oh, it's my nephew's birthday today. Who, who? My nephew. Ah. Oh. Toby. How old is he? 19 today. Oh. I know. It's frightening, isn't it? It is frightening. It's very frightening. He won't be up. No. <laughs> well, it's like my nieces and nephews, yeah. right? You kind of still think of them as kids, but they're all in, they're like from 22 to 20, or 23 to 27 now, and you kind of forget that they're I know. adults. I know. You well, know. he is, yeah. He's driving. He's, you know... Is it university? Friendton. He's he's um he's just got into Loughborough. Oh yeah. Um but he's he's having a gap year. Oh nice. Good So on. he wants to he wants to travel, so yeah. I'm hope I'm really hoping that he's able to. Oh well yeah, I'm going. I'm travelling. Yes, you're travelling. I'm travelling. Yeah. Yeah, well it's it's getting better, isn't it? It's like it's, the world is opening up. Exactly. So yeah, hopefully. Also, if he gets if he on his, if he got jobs on his he can travel, because a friend of mine, Tara, her son is a geologist, and he's Ooh, able to travel all through COVID, he's travelled all around the world with his job. With his job, yeah. ah, yeah. Jenny says, good morning, everyone, and Julie said, yep, that's me, on Facebook, going like that. <laughs> right, so you've got two little bus starts, uh -huh. and that's it for the shaping. Oh, okay. So you've got your two little bus, bus starts, and mm -hmm. then that's it, so we'll... How do you, tra how do you mark your bus starts? So mine, oh, I don't know if you can see, it's very faint. I'm going to creep in on that. Um, so I always use a tracing oh, wheel. Oh, same as me. We need to get those in. Yeah. We need to, we need to yeah. I don't want to bombard our buying department, but we need to get those in, yeah. don't we? Yeah, it's so, it's just quick, isn't yeah. it? You know, with the, you just get, put the paper underneath, yeah. with, your, with tracing wheel across, and it just gives you those. Yeah. And eventually you know it, they just disappear, disappear yeah. they just go so and you get all the array of colors as yeah. well don't you, you get well, if loads you use the of different paper we've got on our website it's in five colors that because in my when our day our, my day we had orange blue and white didn't yeah, we yeah, they yeah, were the three yeah. choices but the char copy one you get pink and yellow and everything yeah, you get all sorts now don't mm. you so it's also in my day it was more like that old-fashioned carbon paper so if you got your fingers on it went you know it went everywhere but now it's <laughs> not like that yeah oh, you can really see the dots where we are now it's not like that at all now no. is it and what size stitch are you using i'm using a three on there oh okay it's a bit tight isn't it but oh is your, is your um tension playing up where's where's da, 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 da. it's this this one isn't it what are you looking for the tension 
is it on this one? No, no, no. Your no that's, uh, my, that's my stitch length. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Your tension's there. That one. Yeah, I might just drop that a bit. It's never easy doing a back stitch on um on a dart. Just, no. so you just have to take your time. Yeah, that's a bit. That's better. That's better. Some people. Who was in there the other day? Mark. I think it was Mark. He doesn't do a back stitch on his. He runs to the end, doesn't run off, and just leaves a really long and ties, thread and ties, ties them. Off, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's the other option yeah. Yeah. to do that if you don't want to do a little back stitch. Yeah. I don't know your tension's still playing up on that machine. Oh gosh, it is, isn't it? Jane's in today, she's going to have a look at them today. Yeah, so. I think... Yeah, it's not, it's not sewing as... Is the bobbin inside an Elna bobbin? It's the ones that were in the machine, the red. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it is the right one. Hi, Rebecca and John. Can I ask, is it all right for a beginner? This pattern, is it all right for a beginner? I missed the beginning from Melody. Yes. I would say it's perfect for a yeah, beginner. I'd yeah, say. yeah. There's, because the you you've only got um, like I said the little rouleau loop, which is is you know optional. That's, yeah, exactly. There's there's different uh, there's different things to do if you don't want to do that. And there's just the um, the neck facing, um, mm -hmm. but again, you you're just you're just following around the neck. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Louise has said, I've never attempted dressmaking before and keen to try. Can you tell me if the pieces of fabric are overlocked separately or together? Now, I, we've talked about this before, yeah. haven't we? Because obviously with, with our background, you would uh, cut out your pattern pieces and overlock them straight away. Um, and also, if you've got a fabric that frays, it's quite good to overlock them first because then as you're working on it, it's you know, not fraying away. Yeah, yeah, it's not you're not you're not losing any. Um, so I always do that. I always ov overlock unless if I'm um, say doing a, a costume and I, I usually leave like you know four inch seam allowance or two and a half or whatever. Then yeah. I don't overlock those. I do the fitting and then I come back and do them. Yeah. But for dressmaking purposes, obviously the seam allowance is all done on these patterns. It's really it's choice actually, isn't it? It's personal choice yeah. to whether you want to do a seam and then overlock or finish it off on your machine. Basically, you wouldn't don't overlock them together until you know it fits. Yeah, yeah. So, so what the reason we as costume makers we don't do as costume makers we wouldn't do that because an actress can say, "Oh, I'm a." 36, 24, 36, and she turns out, or an actor, the actors are worse than the, the girls, I have to say. But anyway, you, you go to a fitting and you have to alter it all and everything. And then if you've overlocked the seams together, and then you do have to let it out, you've got to not only unpick your stitching, but you've also got to unlock, uh, unpick all the overlocking. Yeah. And also, you'll have chopped it all off. And as Rebecca yeah. just said, when you're fitting somebody you don't know, you leave great big seam allowances until you're sure. It's like whenever I would make a wedding dress, the seam allowances at the calico twirl stage would be like really big, because you don't know unless you've met somebody. Where So don't overlock them together until you know it fits you. Yeah, yeah, definitely try it on. If you're going to do yeah. it, if you're going to do it that way, um, and leave it all until after you know after you've yeah then you can yeah. overlock them yeah. together yeah. and chop off the excess seam yeah. lines and everything yeah. that's it yeah I mean you, and if you haven't got an overlock you can zigzag around the edges yes so after we after we've done those we're just going to um, join the shoulders together mm -hmm. You're you're halfway there already. Do what? What? I said you're halfway there already. It's very quick. Yeah. It just goes together very quickly. There is some top stitching on it as well yes. for beginners. That you, if you, you, we can talk about that when we come to it. That looks like that's all right now. I think. Mm. I said that looks like it's okay now. I think.
Are you in holiday mood? Not yet. I'm not going to get in holiday mood until I'm actually getting off the aeroplane. Oh, so nice. Or on the aeroplane. Yeah. Once you're on. Do what? Um, no, I meant until I get on the aeroplane, not until I get off it. Oh, here's Kate. Thank you. Yes, I am watching. Just finishing my birthday Weetabix. Other cereals are available. Living it <laughs> up as usual. It's her birthday today, Kate. In that. Happy birthday, everyone, says Kate. And it's Friday. What's that got to do with anything? Birthday on Friday. It's a good day to have a birthday. Is it? Well, heading into the weekend. Not if you're working both well, days. No, Not the no, Kate is, I don't no, think. But, you know. No, well, I am as well. I'm with you. I'll be working. Are you working this weekend? Yes. Yes, I'm sewing. <laughs> sewing. <laughs> Right, okay, so you end up with that. Right, you have. So now you've got your facing. So you need um, your is it lightweight um, interfacing. Interfacing. Iron on interfacing. Oh, it's up there. I'll put that in in a second. Hannah's okay. just popped out, yeah. Okay. So. No, don't try, Emma. So did you put the lightweight interfacing on all three pieces? I'd, yes. Yeah. So it's on all three pieces, and then I overlocked round. Um, so you just join them together at the shoulder seam. Be careful not to have your iron too hot when you're putting your interfacing on oh yes because I because I I always forget yeah because I'm just you know going too quickly and then it melts <laughs> yeah. melts onto your iron not good which is never good no no have you got the old do you have the old-fashioned iron cleaner that stinks the whole room out you know the white the Vaseline white yes yeah it's yeah apparently someone told me that you can rub it with a disprin or a paracetamol or something oh, but I don't okay. know how you get the paracetamol close enough to the iron without no, burning your finger no that's very true and your modern irons now are quite good aren't they what cleaning themselves yeah well, that's like windows that clean themselves how does that work I don't no idea no Pilkington I think you'll find oh. it is or maybe other glasses are available I wouldn't mind some windows that did that. No. <laughs> or an oven, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's another job that nobody wants, isn't it? No. I used to have this lovely man called Dave that used to come around and do my oven once a year. And I emailed him last week going, oh, it's time. And he's not replied. I think he must have retired. Oh, I wonder if he's... A lot of people have gone out of business as well, haven't they? Because of yeah. everything. We'll have to find somebody else. There must be somebody. Oh, yeah. So around the corner, there was another lady having a different person doing it, solving them. I just like to be loyal to people who've yeah, always... Yeah, absolutely. Seen yeah. So what are you doing? You match, you've matched so I've just sides, matched sides, shoulder yeah, seams. I've matched my shoulder seams. And now I'm just going to ease that round. Mm -hmm. and it fits perfectly anyway. And yeah. just put some pins in so that as I'm sewing, it doesn't move. Now, Hannah's here. This is the interfacing now. Uh, yeah. Emma was going to try, but I told her not to. So it's the soft and light interfacing we used on this one. Should we look at it then? <laughs> there you go. Two ninety nine iron on super light white interfacing. That's very bright. I think who was on was it yesterday with Vix? Vix was doing in her last day yesterday. Vix was doing the, the the lamp, you know, the lovely native lighting that goes over. And they went, they brought the lights down for when she showed it, and then they brought the lights back up afterwards. And like it was so bright, absolutely like. I clean mine with paracetamol and it works, but ibuprofen doesn't. So Susan, 
How do you get it close enough though, Susan, to your iron? Oh, hang on, tip from Kevin. Whole paracetamol in long-nosed pliers. Absolutely stinks doing it from Kevin in Norfolk. Mm. There you go. I was using my long-nosed pliers yesterday to get the staples out of my stairs. Gosh, get you with you. Oh, I ripped DIY. up the spare carpet yesterday. What, just on a whim? Yeah. Oh, really? No, it's been, <laughs> it's been needing to be done since I moved in 10 years ago. Oh, OK. Uh, and it's one of those things, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. And yesterday I just thought, because I, uh, the lady before me had cats who'd obviously scratched it. I had cats that scratched it. And then Harvey's staying with me. Dulcie's cat's staying with me at the moment. He was scratching it. He was actually being sick all over it. That was the real <laughs> reason. So I thought rather than cleaning it, I'll just rip it up. But of course, it's one of those jobs that you think, oh, I'll have it done in 10 minutes. And two hours later, yeah. you're only halfway down the stairs. Yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. Oh, dear. I know. I might do the other half. Not tonight. Tomorrow for me. Oh, you're not finished. No, and you got halfway down the stairs. Oh, uh, I held it with long scissors that you hold for stuffing things. Oh, the, the needle grippers. The needle grippers, good idea. Ah. Tweezers. Tweezers as well. Uh, Mrs. in County Durham says, I've just used paracetamol for mine, held it with a silicon. Kitchen tongs did the trick. Judith, not Mrs. Judith in Stockton on Tees. Thank you. Right. A third of the brand new pattern have gone, sizes 8 to 30, the Salvington top. Look at this, fax 992. Been a while since I've sent a fax. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you still could. Oh, can you? I don't know. I don't know. I thought, I thought it was uh, obsolete now. Oh, is it? Oh, I don't know. I used to love when I first, but I, no I first saw my very first fax when I went to work at 20th Century Costumes. And I couldn't understand how how it worked. I how does it photocopy it at one end and then it appears it's at, amazing, the, at the really, other isn't end? Amazing, really, it? It's brilliant, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Do you have to keep um, Dulcie's cat in? Yeah. Is it, is it, is it, it goes out when it's at home. Yeah. Because our village is only two miles apart. And we don't want to let him out. No. Oh, so is he is he all right? No, or is well, he, he loves he loves being at my house because he gets spoilt rotten, Aww. and it, we have a lot of fun and games, me and Harvey. But um, I think he misses going outside. Yeah, well, he, well so he's going home to, on Sunday anyway. Oh. They like can go to, out then. They like to be outside, don't they? Yeah. Also, he can see all the sheep outside uh, from his house. There's no sheep where they live. He sits in the back bedroom window looking at the sheep <laughs> Watching and, them and talking to them <laughs> like that when they're running around the field. And they have the tendency to run from one end of the field to the other. And he goes like this. He goes like to the end of the windowsill to see where they've gone. And he goes down this end to see where oh, they've gone that way. So cute. He wants He's to, a heavy, heavy lad though. He wants to go out and play. He, oh yeah, he so wants to go out and play. <laughs> He wasn't very well the night before last, though, sadly. Well, something I was going to say. Well, yeah, it can't be he anything yet, it. though, no, because he hasn't doesn't... been outside. No. Oh dear, and all over your carpet. Well, there's no carpet there anymore. No. The joy of pets. I know. Can't live with them, can't live without them. No, him. I couldn't live without my dog. Changing the subject completely. Have you yeah. watched um, Married at First Sight yet? No, oh. I can you talking about it and I need to watch it. No, I've missed it. How have I missed it? It's, uh, it's only been on three oh, nights. Has it? Yeah, it's only three episodes. You've oh, got time to catch right. up. Right, I need to, that's a definite. Yeah. Because I've, I've watched all of them. Oh, but this Be one, pre I only previously. watched the very first series. And this is very different to the first series. Is it? Yeah, because the first series was very, uh, like, serious and, like, a proper... It was more about the how they matched them up in the first place. Yeah. Whereas this... Oh, I'm not going to do a spoiler alert, but they, the first episode is all the, the brides meeting and having a hen night, all the grooms meeting having a stag do, oh. and then it goes into the first wedding. So there's no... Okay. There's, in the first series, there was all this thing about the psychology of who they're going to put with who, and who... This doesn't do any of that. This is more like... Um, if you like... Uh, 
90 day honeymoon. No, that doesn't sound right. 90 day fiance, you'll love this. You'll love okay, this. I've never watched that, but, I'd, but um, I'm gonna watch, I am gonna watch it because I've always enjoyed. Oh no, it's, I've only seen episodes one, two and three and it's brilliant. Okay. J John, can you take Harvey for a walk with a lead? One of my great nephews does that because the previous cats have been run over. Um, I could, I could, Harvey's 12 and set in his ways. And I think if you tried to attach a lead to him, he'd just do that <laughs> and he wouldn't move. I'd be, I'd be taking him for a drag, not for a walk. He's a good age, isn't he? Yeah. But also, right, he's, he's a good, when he was here last time, he escaped, right? And I couldn't figure out how. He jumped out of an upstairs window across the width of the path to the garage, then ran along the garage roofs and then down into the next door neighbour's garden. Wow. Well, they're very, they are very agile, aren't they? Yeah, but very, and then he realised that was his escape, so I have to keep that window shut now. <laughs> he then knows Dul now. Dulcie came round last Sunday and we were talking outside the house and he climbed out onto the bathroom windowsill to shout down to her, to say, look, I'm up here, I'm up here, come and get me, come and get me. Julie says, wow. I made three of these tops. The last one was from a vintage curtain. It's my favourite pattern to date. Oh, oh, yeah. vintage curtain, yeah. Mm. So I'm just snipping in right. around the all, neck. Do you do that all the way around? I, yeah, so, it, so that it sits nicely mm -hmm. when you turn it through. Just be careful you don't go through your stitching. Yeah. So have nice sharp scissors. Yeah. Your scissors got black blades, or is it just the way yes. the lights on them? No, they are black. Oh. Yeah. Are they titanium or something like that? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Oh, actually, I'm not John, sure. I'm not sure. Don't ask me questions. I don't know the answer <laughs> to. I wish I could answer you, but I can't. Right. So obviously, be very careful when you do this. What do you do? Because I'm poking the the um the neck corner. yeah the corner so just be very careful using your you scissors don't. i am using we my always scissors. tell you not to do that use oh, your pokey okay. tool yeah i haven't got a pokey tool there's so. one in is the one oh, here oh no it might have gone oh actually that would do look oh yeah you can use that one i yeah. was thinking of the stiletto but it's normally That'll in the do. box behind you That'll they had do. the move around of everything on the set and all it's gone so yes don't use your scissors use no. use something like this Bad habit. So now I'm just going to press. So on the, on the centre back where you've got that opening, so all I've done is I have stitched as far down as the seam. So you've, right. got, you've got that little bit, there's a tiny little cool. bit ex extra there. And it will go and focus in a second. There you go. There you go. So yeah, so I've just stitched down to my original uh, seam line on both sides. Yeah. And then when you press it, it will sit. It will sit nicely. Yeah. And says, hello, John and Rebecca. John, wouldn't it have been cheaper to get your carpet cleaned? Did it create a lot of dust? It was, me no, ever since I moved in, the carpet, sh it's, the, car the landing carpet had already gone. Uh, and then the stair carpet, needed to go and I've just been too lazy for 10 years to get rid of it so I've been planning on it going for ages because it was it was the one that was in the house when the house was built 25 years ago so it's it's old and dusty and yet it was filthy because the um underlay was all that black rubber stuff and it all rotted away and everything like that so it's good to get rid of it because I had a good old clean of the stairs at the same time it's a big job that is as well isn't it yeah it's not something that's not surprised you've put it off yeah, but then that means I also, I've got to now, I haven't also decorated, I've never decorated the hall and the landing since I've been there. Yeah. Because I always find that as soon as I've decorated, the rest of the house was decorated, as soon as I decorate the hall and the landing, I move. So it's been a, it's been a thing in the past, I've been putting it off. Oh, really. so you're not doing it. Right, I, do, you know, do you know what I've, I've just forgotten to do? Oh, put your ruler in. Put my ruler in. Right. So I'm going to, I'm going to do that now. So, your rulo. So in, in Jane's uh, little book that comes with it, um, she says to do uh, a piece that's three centimetres wide and seven centimetres long. Obviously, that is much longer than seven centimetres. Okay. It's on the bias. 
Yes, it's yeah. on the bias. Um, and you just do stitch as, as, you know, as small as you like, but just be aware that the smaller you go, the harder it is to turn through. Yeah, exactly. So this is so where just if you want be to use careful. a piece of ribbon or a piece yeah. of shearing elastic, something like that, you could use that instead. So I'm just going to do this quite wide, just to show you, because it takes it, it takes a while to start. Yeah. And I don't want to waste time, sort of showing. So I've got this little tool, which we have on the website. Hannah's going to show you a picture now. So what it is, it's, it's called a turning tool, isn't it? It is, yeah. So it's basically, it's got a little hook on the end um, with a, a sort of like a, a little hinged yeah, bit like of metal. Barb. Yeah, that, that sort of closes onto the fabric mm -hmm. so that you don't lose it as you're um, turning through. So yeah. you, you put that through there, hook it onto the end uh -huh. and then start to pull through so just do it very gently take it very oh, slowly that was very, yeah. there you go. and then you pull that through and then you can just put that to one side uh -huh. and then cut that to the length you want so i always make mine slightly longer than than than, ne than needed because um, you know the ends fray and things like that. So um, you know, make make yourself one that's a little bit longer. I would, but but it's very yeah, it's very simple. But you need to make that at the beginning because when you sew your facing on, you should have sewn it. I in should have sewn facing. it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to undo <coughs> my facing on this side. So I've got a button. So any any button that you want to. Uh, use. Uh -huh. And is it right at the top of the facing? Yes, it's right at the top. Yeah. Uh, Sylv says, round. morning lovely, spend a few days with mum sorting out a few things. Busy today, so I'll be dipping in and out. Plumber's so been already, new TV and microwave on the way. Oh yeah, it's right at the top, lovely. Yeah, right at the top. Um, Sonjar says, morning John, is Jan Lane going to be at the Knitting and Stitching show in Alexander Palace in October? I don't think so. I don't think so, no. So oh, now Dawn uses hair elastics for a button loop. Come in lots of colours okay. and they're very cheap to buy, so you get a matching colourway. Good idea, that yeah, Dawn. Yeah, is a good idea. So obviously you would put this in on the flat. Yeah, if you, you can have a look at the still there. That's what you're, that's what you're creating. It's the little bit that goes round the button right at the top there. Yeah. As you you wouldn't. See. You don't need to do this. Do the unpicking everything. Well, you need to place yours when yeah. you're actually sewing the. But if you if you do, forget to put it on. Oh, like Jane's watching. No sorry, pressure. Sorry, Jane. Yeah. Mucked up your thing. She says she never wants you to make any of her no. patterns ever okay. again. I'm so sorry, Jane. So I'm just going to check that that button goes through. It does. Yeah. So when you're stitching, make sure that you keep it out of the way. So that you don't, um, you know, accidentally. Oh yeah, stitch it in. To the stitch seam. it in or anything, because that, that you definitely don't want that to happen. So I'm just going to line this up and go round the corner again. Mm -hmm. She's laughing. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We'll just edit that bit out when we yes, that. Yes, there you go. Rulo loop in. So yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly press that. So do we not neck. do we understitch this or not? Uh yes, the the thing is I'm gonna give it a press first. I like to give it a press and then stitch it. Okay. Obvious, obviously okay. it's very difficult to get in there. So go as far as you can go and then stop and then go. That, that's what I have to do because yeah. it's very difficult to go, you know, round a corner. Yeah. So just give that a quick press. I'm going to try 
try and get a sleeve. You know, how are we doing for... You've got about 10 minutes time? left. All right. So let me just show you quickly mm -hmm. on that corner. So make sure that you've got all your seam allowance to the, un to the side of the facing, so away from your main uh -huh. fabric. And then just stitch close to the edge of your fabric. Mm -hmm. And you'll see what I mean when I get to this bit. Right, Geraldine uh, says, what's the fabric that's been used on the dummy, please? Do you mean this one there? That's this fabric here, Geraldine. Have we got any left, Hannah? It's, called, it's in a metre and a half bundle, Geraldine. It's cotton poplin. And it's called blue, I think, isn't it? Light blue, light blue. There it is, that's it. Way over half the stock's gone already. That's the fabric. At 19.99. Jane says she's done a YouTube video of making this if you want to go and see it from start to finish, if you missed any of the points. There we go. So you would obviously go round all the way around there. Uh -huh. And then as an option, which I think is quite nice, I don't know if you can... Can't, you can't see it very well on there. You, you um, top stitch down. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, you can see it. You can see yeah. It. So you, top, you uh, top stitch round the top of there, which I think makes a finishes it off really Ooh. nicely, makes yeah. a nice feature. Um, but obviously that's up to you. That's optional as to whether you want to do that or not. So after you've done that, you can put together your side seams. Mm-hmm. Uh, and says, John, is one and a half metres enough to make the largest size and maybe lengthen the top as well? It is, isn't it? Yeah. 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 There's plenty left there. Okay. So then you've got your little cap sleeve. Right. Which I've made one of them up already. So, um, so uh, do your underarm seam mm -hmm. and your little hem. Because it's. And you literally just turned that, turned it I've up. I've turned turned it up a centimeter and t and and top stitched it. Uh -huh. um, it's just easier to do it all when it before it goes in. It, yeah. So I just give that a little press and then we'll get that sleeve in. Has the sleeve got any, have they got any gathers in or is it just eased No, in? no, no, it's just eased in. Brilliant. I can hear something beeping. beeping. I was going to say that, I, I can as well. I just don't know what, oh. it, what it is. I'm just going over to the kitchen set. Wait there one moment. Oh no, it's not that. Oh yes it is, yes it is, yes it is. All I'm all right. Are you all I right, didn't John? fall. <laughs> We've got this. This um, studio here used to have a cookery show in it, and they've left the kitchen over there, and the hob is still plugged in. And it's a um, what do you call it when it's just a piece of glass and you put the induction? Is that what's called? I want to call it convex for some reason. Then anyway. If you put anything on top of it, it doesn't get hot, but it beeps at you. And I would put the early bird over there and one of the fat quarters has fallen onto the hob oh. and it was beeping. It'll stop now. Very it sensitive now. that is, isn't it? It's my and Kev's 28th wedding anniversary today. We've known each other since we were eight years old and we've been together for 40 years this Christmas Eve when he wow. called round for a Christmas kiss. It took him 12 <laughs> years before he asked me to marry him, however. 
We've got six boys and five grandsons and one granddaughter, says Diane. Happy wedding wow. anniversary, yeah. Diane and Kev. We've had about 15 wedding anniversaries today. Popular like date. People mentioned, yeah, 3rd of September. September. <clears throat> Right, so what are you doing? I'm just easing the sleeve in. Mm -hmm. Have they got a back and a front? Is there definitely a left one yes. and a right one? Yes, yeah. yeah, 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 there is. So on your on your patterns, the, there's usually two notches for your back, mm -hmm. one for your front. So just make sure that you transfer those um, onto your uh, fabric when you're cutting out and then you, you know, there's no way of getting it wrong then. Yeah. Oh, Hannah's doing very deep breathing today. Oh dear. Geraldine's bought the fabric. Uh, Julia says, morning, John and Rebecca. You can tell she's a costume maker. She's so calm. <laughs> <laughs> but I was a costume you maker as see, well. You should see me at home when I'm... <laughs> I think my children would say otherwise. Oh, would they? I think they would, yes. That's only because they interrupt you at the most important time. Especially times. at the moment, yes. Oh, well, there, are they, <laughs> uh, hang on, hang on. Though, one must have gone back to school now. No, not till Monday. Oh, why yeah. are they so I late going late, back compared to everyone else? Yes, I know. No. So one's back to school. One's back to school on Monday. Yeah. My son starts college on Wednesday. But will he still be living at home? Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And my, yeah, my eldest goes off to university at the, uh, towards the end of this month. Yeah. Oh. I know. Don't, because I will start crying. Oh, right. <laughs> but what I find odd is that when we worked together, you know, kind of at that time, there was no even thought of marriage, children, no. anything. We were just young no. London socialites, That's weren't it. we? Absolutely. Thing, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, I didn't want children. Didn't, oh, didn't you? <laughs> just three children later. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't she, does, she loves you now, though. Not quite sure <laughs> how that happened. But. Well, yes. I could explain that yeah, to you. Yeah, well, <laughs> That's another show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, late that's, night. That's not this show. <laughs> that's late night sewing. Oh, oh. dear. No, ob obviously I'm very pleased that I have. Yeah, of course. She says with meaning. Right, that's, uh, there's something a bit wrong with that Is stitching. Jane here yet? Yeah, it's a bit. Oh, you, would, no, no, because Jane, uh, Jane from Elna's here, so you can have a look oh, at it. Oh, brilliant. You. Or you can swap okay. the machine for your next break. Yeah, for your okay. Next hour. So obviously, it wouldn't look like that. It goes in really nicely, right. the sleeve does. As you can see, it fits really nicely. Yeah. It's a little cap sleeve. So, um, and then just give it a press. Perfect. Are and how's it hemmed at the bottom then? Oh, so, hang on. Yes. Oh, did you want to say something else? No, no, I was just going to say, you. Um, yeah, so you hem, centimetre up. Yeah. And just top, top stitch, stitch that. It down. Yeah. Perfect. And that's, and that's, your, that's your little top. It's a nice, down. simple little top, it's, isn't it? It is. It's lovely. Yeah. But also, depending on which fabric you use it, because you could use it lovely for day wear, but also if you made it in a sort of zhushi fabric, it'd be a nice Christmas top. Oh, yeah. Top, that, no, definitely. It? Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. Very versatile. Now, Rebecca's back in an hour. The next hour you're back is a bit different because you've not got a particular project to do, have you? No. We've got a book. That, oh, it's behind my head there. There's a book there, right? There it is, Dressmaking Technique by Paul. And we're just going to go through lots of different techniques, aren't we? Yes. Like seams and yeah. what are the other things you do? Seams, um, <laughs> uh, tuck, little uh, pin tucks. Pin tucks. Um, pleats, some pockets. Uh, it's a fabulous book. And so we're going to yeah. just do a whole hour of techniques and everything. Yeah. So there's no finished thing, but a really, really good hour to sit and watch just to either refresh or to learn how to do things. Yeah. So that's brilliant. Right, let me just quickly go through this then. Pattern on its own. Oh, question from Glenn. But could I easily lend this to cover my bum? Love Rebecca's demo from Glynis, not Glennis, Glynis, that one, yeah. Yeah, so as I was saying earlier, 
make a measure measure yourself yeah. and get and get that measurement and then apply it to your pattern yeah because what you might have to do is have to widen it out a little bit yeah. because if it's too narrow to go over your hips you might need to from here downwards you might just need to widen yeah. it out a yeah. little bit because as so you, it goes you over can see from there it's that that would if you if you just extended that down from the pattern that's going to be quite tight yeah. over your bottom yeah so yeah so just just keep measuring keep measuring uh, the measurements are all in the pattern anyway. 15 pounds and 50 pence. Very, very popular, the Salvington. First time we've ever had it on. I am ready for a Rebecca and John lesson, says Dawn. Oh, <laughs> are you indeed, Dawn? Right, okay. Yes, right. So now let's do the one that the fabric that the original was made out of, or our original, obviously. Metre and a half bundle, 44 inches wide, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Lovely cotton poplin, this one. This is one Girardi. So if you're in the northwest, don't wear it round where Girardi lives because you're bound to bump into and be wearing the same top. Nineteen ninety nine. That's lovely for a metre and a half. Now, if you buy two, they obviously don't come joined together. So, if you're thinking about making a dress out of this fabric, you are going to get two pieces each, cut to a metre and a half. If you cut, if you want three metres, but um, we haven't got it by the half metre. Right. Then I've also got that one in the green. It's got, a, like I was saying earlier, it's got like a very William Morris slash Liberty essence of, hasn't it? 1999 Country Floral Wild Side on green. It's lovely, isn't it? Attention to detail in there. It's just there's so many things going on. Lovely. And then last but not least, I've got the... This is lovely. This is my favourite of the printed ones. This is your lilac berries with leaves. Mm? I've only got single figures that bundle now, though. Nineteen ninety nine. It's lovely, isn't it? Gorgeous. Right, do not go anywhere. Oh, after break, it's me. Now it's called bag making, but there's no bag making as such. I've got Stuart's book, I've got Debbie's book, I've got Baffer's things, I've got lovely fabric. The oh the last few bits of um the New World Tapestry as well, and some new fabrics as well. Don't go anywhere, I'll see you in four. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! That's the same 
Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what I do. Yeah, that's I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to serve from an early age. When we were young, we did just making in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being well our family run customer service team are on call 24 7. they're full of friendly warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible and not only will they take your order they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. This hour is all about bag making. We're not actually making anything, but it's all, um, we've got Stuart's book, we've got Debbie's books, we've got Baffer's kits, we've got some quilts you go. But, you can see this, this is gorgeous for bag making, but we are, this will sell out today. This is the end of our new world tapestry. Now, I'm hoping we will order more, but it's so popular, this. You love it, and it's really, really good quality and a fantastic price as well. So, um, should we just, do you want to go in any particular order, Ham? Okay, so we'll go with this one first then. Do you want the number? Yeah, diamonds on diamonds. Tapestry Aztec. Look how wide it is. Oh, now you're buying it by the half metre, remember. Beautiful, isn't it? You know what? I wonder if you could piece it, because I just think, well, you don't need to, because it's already been done, but I'd like to make features of those diamonds, and I'm not quite sure how I'd do that, but it's lovely fabric, isn't it? So it's called Tapestry, uh, it's called Aztec, this one. Lovely colours. Now, I don't think your telly is showing you the best, the most beautiful colours do you know what I mean? It's kind of dulling them down a little bit. It's a really, really lovely. But look, all the way it's got like little patchwork within each of the squares, doesn't it? Gorgeous. Remember, it's by the half metre. It's 5.99 for half metre. Um, I'd say it was 60 inches wide. Let me just measure. Oh, hello. Who's that? Oh, Elliot. And it's got what, a new pair of jeans on? Oh, hang on, it's 56 inches wide, not 60, 56 inches wide. You've got what? Yeah, 140 centimetres, that's right. 8 cent cotton, 20 cent polyester. Now, also, the other side isn't like a tapestry. Look, you could use the other side if you wanted to. So it's not got loose threads or threads on the other side. Oh no, Elliot's had his second jab. 
He's a bit left a bit late, isn't it? Because I thought they did the over forties ages ago. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear him laughing? It's cause, only because it's true. I'm talking about waist size, obviously not age. Five ninety nine. Pardon? I said waist size, not not age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring. Do you mind? I might know it might be Friday in your world, Elliot, but we're busy here. Five pounds and 99 pence. It's lovely, isn't it? The colours are beautiful in that. You've got greens and reds and blues and orange. Creams, apricots. Beautiful. Five ninety-nine. This is gorgeous. Nice weight, but not too hard to sew. I got the Harlequin to cover a footstool. It's fabulous. Your life must be so fabulous. Kate in Merseyside, sitting in your big house with all your lovely furniture and all your gorgeous sewing things around you. And beet Weetabix. Other cereals are available. Who said they're in there earlier? They're butter on their Weetabix. Emma has butter on her Weetabix. Do you have milk as well? Oh, okay, that's weird to have butter and milk. Oh no, I, when I used to eat Weetabix, the, the joy was it all soaking up. Well, I used to put way too much. I used to have it like cat. I'd have Weetabix on a bowl of sugar. But just watching the milk or the soya soak into the... Oh. Anyway, to what? Well, I, it's one of my childhood like, kind of like happy memories, happy places. Anyway, moving on. We'll go on to the little squares next one then. Oh, hang on, this one. No, okay, on the website, they, this is the little, little square. This is um, 430, 430. Right, now I've only got seven, oh, excuse me, I hiccup then, seven metres. It's because I rushed my strawberries in the break, that's what it was. They were lovely, yeah. Seven metres, that's all I've got left of this one. New World Tapestry Little Chess. Mandy, you came and you gave without taking, so I sent you away. Always watch, but first time message. Hello, Mandy. Thank you for keeping me company. I was home alone for the first time today with a broken leg. Oh, Mandy, you take care of yourself, my love. Oh. Are you in a pot, as they say? Well, that's what they call it, isn't it? It's in the cast. They call it a pot. Oh, where I come from, it's called a pot. Five ninety nine. Oh, anyway, it's our pleasure, Mandy. Our pleasure. You don't, Mandy. Do you live near Beeston, Mandy? Do you live near Beeston? Uh, somebody we know from when we worked in jewellery, Lady Audrey. She lives in Beeston. Oh no, everyone's either having a wedding anniversary or they're poorly now. Oh no, she's not. Good morning, John. Nurse Julie here. Feeling so much better today. Going to miss you when you're away. My card is trying to recover. Great fabric. Ah. Oh. Very kind. Five ninety nine for half a meter. Again, let me show you the other side. Oh, that's nice. Bebe. Oh, Anne's back on porridge now. What you mean, Anne? You're in prison. Or are you watching the TV program? Are you in prison? Um. What do I have for my breakfast normally? Oh, boiled egg and an ap uh, apricot? No, that's not called an apricot. That's called an avocado. <laughs> Nearly the same thing. Not. I've just found the last couple, the last week, the avocado has been pretty tasteless. I was it because they're not summer, or because they're I don't know. Anyway, next. Big squares. Yep, yeah. they're not huge, but they're bigger. Than that last, it's the same, it's the same fabric but bigger basically, look. I have 12 metres of this one left, that's it. All right, thank you. They're singing Mandy now. Actually, I went to look at, I uh, will have to ask the marketing team, because I went to look at, because uh, I'm obviously in 
today, tomorrow, and Saturday. Then I'm off for, uh, today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Then I'm off on Monday. So I went to look at the um, TV guide on the website for Tuesday and Wednesday, and it's not there yet. Well, it wasn't last night when I looked last night. So I don't know who I've got on Tuesday and Wednesday. Cara Delevingne on Tuesday. Oh, Cat of the Month we're doing. Oh, now which one is it? Because we're in September now. So it's not the next one along. It's Maine Coon. Right, and so Cat of the Month and a, and a Helen Newton. And then on Wednesday. Oh, we've got, no, hang on. Is that, is that the only guest I've got on Tuesday? And then on Wednesday, for two hours. So I've only got one guest for one hour. Oh, okay. Now I've got Karen from Seams in on Wednesday. Okay, and I've got Noel. I've never met Noel before. Noel from Crafty Products. I've just picked this one up. You want me to do that one next? Now, this one is called uh, Chimneys, I think. I think you found. But I think it's a big cat. Right? I think it's a big cat facing away from you, looking towards a. S oh, about to, oh, Big Glasgow, this one's called. I could have sworn this one was called Chimneys. Because I can see a cat. Oh, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Now I've got clamshells. Carnival, they call this one. Big. I haven't got little carnival, though. Oh, we go. I only have a temporary castle until the swelling goes down. No, I'm not near Nottingham or Beeston. I'm on the Leicester border, the Vale of Belvoir. Oh, that sounds posh. Where do you live? Oh, the Vale of Belvoir. Oh, that sounds lovely. Oh, I'll have to look that up. I used to go to Leicester to be a judge on Miss Great Britain. Margaret thinks it looked like a cat. John, when is Yvonne back with the next block? She's in Belfast for the next three days, but I, I think she's on with me, so it can't be till the end of the month. Mm. That might, might be telling a fib. It's block of the month of, with Wendy Orlando on Yarn Lane on Monday, but I don't know when Yvonne's in. Five ninety nine. This is called Big Carnival. I have this fabric, says Lorraine. It's great for bags. It is indeed. Should we look at the other side? At five ninety nine, half meter. How are we doing on stock for that one? Oh, it's two metres left. If you want that one, I've only got two metres left, that one. Hurry, hurry, hurry to the carnival. Oh, what's that? Step right in, hurry, hurry. Five ninety nine. moving on. Now I've got stars. Seven metres, that's all I've got left of this one. Seven metres of the stars. It's pretty, isn't it, that one? 55 inches wide. Oh, oh it's not quite as posh then. The Vale of Belvoir <laughs> is actually pronounced the Vale of Beaver. Not quite so posh. Where do you live, Vale of Belvoir? Oh, you mean the Vale of Beaver? Oh. <laughs> Why spell it Belvoir then if it's Beaver? That's like Beecham, isn't it? Beauchamp and Beecham. 5.99. Oh, they're off now. Doing all their Beaver jokes next door. 5.99. 5.99. Okay, she's obviously had enough of that one now. Right, okay, now I've got, uh, is this big and little? No, no, two different. This is big Harlequin. 
Oh, no. It's about to sell out. Be quick, be quick, be quick. Come on. Okay, this is called Little Eclipse. They're very good, they are. Until what's name left, Jesse? Little Eclipse. Five ninety nine is only two meters of little eclipse. Baby spice, she's not in little mix. Oh, mini baby bells, where does that come from? Okay, so Hannah's just got completely. She said, I'm talking about, I, I like it because when they used to do the mini baby bell advert, they'd eat it and go half moon. Go, no, that was Jaffa Cakes. But she prefers cheese to Jaffa Cakes. I have no idea, anybody. When's, when's your next holiday, Hannah? Well, you can't. She's, um, she's got very exciting changes in her life coming up. Um, as, um, the Stuart book. Right, Stuart was in last week. He launched this very, very popular with Wendy. Brought all the bags in. They are all signed. They are all signed. It's fifteen ninety nine bags for life. And there's a twenty one projects in here, so it's not even a pound a project. Fifteen ninety nine. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, um, it, uh, there's patterns in the back here, in the little envelope there. Oh, actually, oh no, there they are, there they are, there they are, there they are. Sorry, I thought they'd gone. So any that you need patterns for, they're in the back here, look. There you go. Now it is double sided, so you need to trace off the one that you need. Very easy to do then. Um, now let's just go through the bags in the book because there's some beautiful, beautiful books in here. Uh, bags in here, sorry. It's a lovely book, but there's some beautiful bags in it as well. Uh, lovely hardback uh, book here. 21 projects. Now, the angel policies, you can make these to sell if you want. He said, as long as you don't make more than a thousand of each one. Techniques, equipment, everything you need in the front of the book here before we get on with the projects. Yvonne, we had a wonderful first day at Quilt Fest. So many happy people with a twinkle in their eye. Schoolhouse Short Talks. Hang on. Schoolhouse Short Talks, really successful. And many Sewing Street goodie bags have gone to good homes. Yvonne, Yvonne, what date are you in doing your next row? Anne was asking what date you're in. Christine says, hi, gorgeous John Scott. I love it when you say something and sing. I do it all the time and get some very strange looks when I'm on the bus. I like to be like Mrs. Bouquet. <laughs> and she would call it Vale of Belvoir, not Vale of Beaver. Anyway, let's get on with the bag. Book, book, bag, bag, book. Of course, lots and lots of... Um, uh, techniques and instructions, that's good, isn't it? And then we've got a trip to the market. Oh, the supermarket. Shopping trolley bags. He did that in Sainsbury's car park. I watched that bit. Trifold wallet. Then you, now somebody put on Facebook the other day that he'd used. Uh, Stuart had used a piece of fabric that she'd gifted him for his birthday for one of these projects. I can't remember which one it was now. Produce bags. There you go. Hannah's potato bags. Princess says, I'm not getting any of the messages that you're reading out on my Facebook. Princess, that happens here. I, they get messages in there, and we're only, what, three metres away from each other that I don't even get in here. It's really weird. Maureen's book arrived yesterday. It's looking good, she says. Anyway, carry on. Uh, there's your expanding uh, shopping bag. Look, we had that elastic, that knicker elastic, in the, um, in the mask hour, didn't we? Tuesday the 28th of September is when Yvonne's doing her next. I thought it was with me. It's my first day back. My first day back after my holiday. So I will be sitting here in my thong so you can see my... A day at the beach. Convertible. Convertible tote and towel bag.
Well, let's have a look how it converts. Let's have a look at the pictures. There! It's like a quillo. Splash proof beach bag, eau de coat. Oh, actually, is it eau de coat? Oh, no, it started off with waterproof fabric. Eau de coat would be good. The shopping trolley bags that fold out to fit a smaller trolley. Apparently. Uh, picnic by the lake, insulated lunch bags. Oh, now this is the one he showed on the show, right? So you put your food inside, then you roll it over and the Velcro, or the one touch fastening, keeps it sealed. Picnic bag. Hannah likes anything with... He, there's lots of breads. There's bread and strawberries. And sp now, I wouldn't take spinach with me on a picnic, to be honest. Is that spinach or is it a cauliflower? Then we've got oh, still the same bag. Then we've got the bottle carrier. Then we've got the picnic blanket bag. Oh, they, that's him, modelling. Then we've got a great own oh, cave. Craft caddy and storage cubes. Uh, knit and crochet project bag. It's a big bag for your tall so uh, knitting needles. Sewing machine cover. Oh, yeah, Wendy had that on the desk next to her, didn't she? Cave again. It's cave, but it's got something else inside. It had a different fabric inside, didn't it? And it was called... I was watching and was listening. Vinyl zippered project pouch. Oh, there's the cave fabric again. Oh, now. We had that fabric, didn't we? Do you remember? When we were at sewing quarter. Essential messenger bag. Oh, oh, who's that there? Who's that? Oh, Stuart again. Overnight attaché. Right, no, I'm sorry. That would not be enough for me to take overnight. Yeah. Attaché, doesn't attaché normally mean um, suitcase, like a briefcase attaché? I don't know. My bad. Multi-wear city work bag. Oh, now this is the one, this is the one that you can unclip at the back and you make it a shopping bag, you can make it a rucksack and you can make it a messenger bag. They are all signed, Christine. Yes, they are all signed. That's nice, isn't it? There you go, that's more like it. Going away for the weekend there. With the dragon fabric. And then you've got your absolute essentials roll-up bathroom organiser. You see now, honey, that wouldn't be big enough for all of your weekend. Because look, there's a toothbrush and a toothpaste. It can't be very big, can it? It's not very big. Because that's a toothpaste. Oh, see, there are your essentials. I see, got it. Got it. And what happens if you get to the house and, and the, I have, have you got a hook on the bar, back of your guest bathroom? Oh, you have, okay. All right. Oh, no, I know, but it's got your wall hanging on it with your two flying cranes. Essential toiletries bag. You forget that Hannah's got toilets that the Beatles have been in and the Rolling Stones. And Olivia Newton-John. Oh, it was Olivia Newton-John. I got that wrong. Dusty Springfield. That's it. Very easy to confuse the two. Anyway, fifteen ninety-nine. That book. Fifteen ninety-nine. Oh. There we go. You're going with what? Did you say? Yeah. Or oh, Bucks Fizz. Bucks Fizz are at Tamworth. Can they use your toilet? They're on at Tamworth next... Uh, is it next week or the week before? Week, week before. No. That was. Or the week after. There we go. Anyway. I wonder if they're allowed to sing all their old songs. There's only three of them. Anyway. Land of make believe. I tell you what, when I was doing my teaching practice, uh, it was when uh, making your mind up was number one on the charts. And on the bus going there in the morning, they'd always play it really loud just as so I arrived at my school to perk me up. Um, hang on a minute. 
We only launched this last week, didn't we, for fifteen ninety nine? Twenty pounds it's meant to be. Anyway. Twenty one projects. Oh message from Louise on the bottom. Me again. Bought this book, beautifully presented. We'll look forward to making some. Thank you, Louise. So it is a lovely book. It's a lovely hardback book. Nice colour as well. Colour of hemimorphite, that colour of the Buddha. Mm -hmm. Look lovely on a shelf, wouldn't it? Right here, moving on. I've got some brand new cotton mix vintage collage. I have indeed. Oh, now, how do I tell the difference? Really? Let's put it on the camera and we can see then. This is 05, that's natural, I'm thinking. <laughs> Natural beauty. There we go. Now we had some a bit like this yesterday, didn't we? Own gross guarantee. That's a big guarantee. A T twenty mix, forty four inches wide. Rapid de lecture de langage. Mm, brand new today. Seven ninety nine for half a meter. Lovely, got your music, your roses, your French. Mo in the Highlands, oh Mo, how are you my lovely? Uh, have a lovely holiday John, but haste you back, we can't manage that. I'll be back on Tuesday the 20th, is it Tuesday the 28th then? Is that what Yvonne just said? Tuesday the 28th is the day I'm back, Tuesday the 28th. I will have a lovely holiday, thank you. Vintage collage on natural cotton linen. Right, hang on, but it isn't cotton linen, it's a cotton mix, didn't you say? Oh, oh, so it's cotton linen mix, sorry. I thought you said polyester in there. I thought I'd said polyester out loud. Cotton linen mix, cotton linen mix. Okay, that's the natural. Now I've got it in the grey. There's not that much difference, I have to say. I have to just say it's dark natural, the grey. It's not grey grey, is it? Look. Oh, oh no, no, I don't know. Because the musical in music's in the same colourway. The roses look deeper for some reason on this. Seven ninety nine. Vintage collage on the grey. Oh, I forgot to say about also Stuart. Uh, when I'm wearing my holidays, filling in some of my shifts for me. So you'll see more of Stuart over the next month. I think he's in for, is he in for six days or eight days, something like that? You really deserve this holiday, says June, but oh my goodness, we'll really miss you. I'll do a Facebook Live from by the pool or on the beach or something on the Sunday. Not the first Sunday, the second Sunday. I will have clothes on. I remember when I put a picture of me lying on the beach in San Diego, Facebook nearly had meltdown because I had no top on. And then Mandy Shaw, everyone else said all these lovely things, and Mandy Shaw said, do you always go to the beach with that horrible carrier bag next to you? <laughs> Cheeky man. Right, I've also got these lovely, um, like, patchwork esky fabrics. Oh, hang on, I've got five of them. Now, they feel like Sumugi. They feel like that um, Sashko fabric. That's what they look like, feel like. Which would you like to go to first? 27. So now, does it come by the half metre? Yes. Shima Ruby. Now, it's 44 inches. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? Look. They are like the texture of the fishy fabric or some of the fabrics that Susan Briscoe has. Do you know what I mean? It's got that lovely textured feeling to it. Now, uh, you could make borrow bags out of this, couldn't you? They'd look really good, wouldn't they? 7 99 for half a metre. It'll be 100% cotton, this. I'm imagining. Hannah's gone very quiet. Oh, it is, it is, she says. 7 99 for half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. It's called red, but 
but it's more like a wine. I suppose there is a bit of red in there, like brick and wine, I'd call that. Terracotta. Beautiful. Shima Ruby, that one. By the half meter. Next. In black. Oh, there's a grey stripe in it. So this is the same print as the red one that I just showed you. But look, it's got it's in the black and the grey. I can't believe how much of my finger I've chopped. I've, ch I've managed to... It must be stuck on the stairs somewhere, that bit of finger. 7 99 Oh, Emma, you don't know when I used to go sleepwalking when I was at college. They found bits of me all over the place. 7 99 There was one day in the kitchen. We used to live in... I lived in... Oh, and it was when I lived in Beaumont. We used to live in, like... Um, Hall, they're not halls of residence, they were like little flats and there were five bedrooms and a bathroom and a kitchen toilet on each floor. And um, I woke up, there was a lake, I woke up in the morning with my feet covered in mud and we all thought that was ever so funny because I've obviously been paddling in the lakes in my sleep. And then someone said, why are all these chairs all piled up against the sides of the wall here? And I said, why have I got a sore leg here? Anyway, I'd obviously piled all these chairs up slipped off the chairs, all in my sleep. And the radiators were those old-fashioned radiators with the two things that stuck up at each end. And I'd scratched my leg and the skin that had come off my leg was still on the radiator. 7 99 sorry if you're eating your 11s, half part tenses. You have not. She's eaten all of her food that she brought in, her breakfast, her 11s and her lunch. Shima Gray, that one. We have emergency overnight oats, though. Which one next? Oh, right, so they're the, those two are that pattern. These, are these three are different. These are all like patchwork rather than stripes. I've got a blue one ending 50. <gasps> oh, on pre-order, this has been really popular. I'm not surprised. It's lovely. I love the selvedge. I love the fabric. Oh, look. That's stunning. That's more borrow, isn't it? That's more of your borrow. Shima patchwork blue. Hmm? Yeah, you can't borrow it. You have to buy it, says Hannah. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, ha, Okay. We're not allowed to do that anymore. Seven ninety nine 99 Shima patchwork. It's lovely, isn't it? Shall I hold it up? Isn't that lovely? What would you make out? You see, I think a lovely kimono out of that would be nice, wouldn't it? A gentleman's kimono, maybe. Oh, do you know what would be really lovely? Do you remember when we did, the other day, we did the two cranes on the panel, and I said, maybe if you made a kimono to have it on the back panel, have the cranes as the back panel and then have the rest of the kimono made out of this. Be lovely, wouldn't it? And then I could come down my staircase with no carpet on it to make it an entrance and stand on a staple. Right, now I've got black and brown left. Yeah, it's your choice. Brown. No, right, okay, that, this one was called ruby. This is a mistake, right? This is ruby. This is the colour ruby. This is definitely not the same colour as that. There's obviously, somebody's typed in wrong. I'm going to blame Ryan because he doesn't work here anymore. Oh, also, has Ryan got three of those French bulldogs? He must be loaded. They're not cheap, are they, those dogs? Here you go, 7 99 He's got like a great big grown-up one, a medium-sized one. They've just got like a little, little, little baby, baby puppy one. Obviously. He might be rich, but he only wore the same pair of shorts to work every day, didn't he? I think that was just shuffle his tattoos, to be honest. 
7.99, that's, that's called ruby. It's definitely, definitely, definitely not ruby red. It's definitely beautiful, rich chocolates and browns. Seven ninety nine. Now I've got the patch in black. Now don't tell me they've called this yellow. Oh, grey. It's got red in it. It's got grey in it. It's got black in it. Pink in it. Actually, it's, I tell you about. It's got no red and it. it's got all pink in it. Pink, grey, black, white. Seven ninety nine patchwork in grey. You're quite a way away from it there, because that's quite a big patch there. Beautiful. And what's that got to do with Japanese fabric? Okay, now I've got, shall I go on to the denims while I'm here? These are a two, this is a two metre bundle. This is your indigo. I've only got dark and light on this one. This is not eight inch. It is, uh, eight ounce, sorry. It's not eight ounce at all. I'd say it was four ounces, if anything. Dark blue, it's, it's brilliant for making a little frock with or something like that. Two metres, well you couldn't make a frock with two metres. It'll be wide though, It'll be 60 inches wide I imagine. Let's just check. Yep, look at the width. That's, oh it smells nice. It smells lovely. That, have we called it indigo? No, dark blue. Dark blue we've called it. That's lovely, isn't it? It's not no stretch in it, no stretch. There are eight of these bundles left, two metres for £18.99. Uh, why would you do that, Christine? Christine said, didn't Stuart Hillard design some, oh, design, I thought you said sign. Design, I don't know if he designed some Sashko fabrics, I'm not sure. I'll just put that one down there for now. And then I've got the denim in the light, or is it medium, this one? I have to double check, hang on. Wash, they've called this one. Light blue, they've called this one. Heavy wear, it's not, oh, eight ounce. It's definitely not eight ounce. Yeah, lots of words there for a pale blue denim. Okay, moving on. Oh, I need to write down what these are called because I need to put these in my next magazine article. Which one would you like? Shiny gold, heavy duty snaps. Right, you do get the tool to put these in with. So you don't need an extra tool, but you do need a hammer. You could borrow mine, look, because I'm not using mine again. Heavy duty snaps, uh, 15 millimeter, 4.99 from Hemline Starter Kit. Le Starter Kit, Le Kit de Starters. Bright golden brass, they are. Just brass, not golden brass. Then I like the colour of these. These are rust proof brass, but it's a completely different colour look. But it doesn't specify that they're a different colour. Might do in the graphics, let's have a look. They call it antique brass. Yeah, antique brass. It's not mentioned on the packet. Le paquet. Hmm? Four ninety nine. Got some eyelets, and I've got some eye. Oh, got two lots of eyelets coming up next. 
Do you want what, big eyelets or little eyelets? These are like the ones you put in a corset. Five, oh, my, yeah, five and a half millimetre. Again, you've got the tool to put them in with. Oh, sorry, Emma. 40 of them in there, little eyelets. When we used to make corsets, uh, Rebecca will tell you this, because she's on her film, she's got, um, she's got a cor some corsets, hasn't she? You'd put those in, then you'd have to buttonhole stitch round all of them. And sometimes corsets had like 40 of those in them. And, and more. You have to, well, you used to take it home to do, the, do that, that bit. Sit in front of the telly. But my telly in those days, the screen was only that big. But you could, you could set it off to um, a, the alarm clock in the morning. You could put the telly on. Yeah. Loads of you coming in for these. Well, I haven't seen these before, actually, I, to be honest here. They knew. Okay. Oh, I've not seen that. Four ninety nine. Then now, now I recognise this one because we've done like um, like a Debbie Shaw does, like a picnic duffelly bag, doesn't she? That these go, and then you put the um, rope effect through it. These are your big eyelat eyelats eyelets. Eight ninety nine. They're fourteen millimeter. Again, you've got the tool to put them in with and everything. All the instructions, oops, oh sorry, all the instructions are on the back. Look, you need a hammer. And also I'd suggest a piece of wood to hammer them into rather than so you don't damage your table. Le table. I'm very French today, aren't I? Le table. Right, next. Quilt, now these are brilliant. Now, th th when you make these, you're supposed to make them, gift them. When you gift the bottle of wine, you gift the bag with them. And then the person you gift them to should gift them on so they can, you know, sustainable. You can make three in here, those three different patterns. You can make all three of those from here. I'm keep, I keep getting that live thing interrupted on here again. $14.99, set of three wine totes. If you've never come across uh, Quilts You Go before, all of the patterns are mar marked out on the wadding. The blue lines are your placement lines, and then it tells you what to cut out and how to stitch them in there. Now, these would be an ideal Christmas gift. Or if you're um, giving bags of wine, uh, not bags, bottles of wine, as friends, as gifts, or you're going to a dinner party or a Christmas party, or uh, you're going to buy your very handsome postman Nick a bottle of wine for Christmas. You should move to our village. He's back from his holidays. So That's a lovely suntan as well. He's still got his shorts on. Uh, and Sally from number five is beside herself. Anyway, fourteen ninety nine. Okay, now, am I going to do another quilt to go? I'm going to do the fat quarters to make Christmas versions of these. Right, you can make Christmas versions of that using these fat quarters. Green, uh, green and gold, ending 50. These are lovely. These are John Loudon. These are very Christmassy. They're green with gold. Now, um, Alice and Mary and Mary Nelson use these to make her, um, those. Christmas um, chain, who, hanging chains. At ten ninety nine, I've got them in red. Same, same but different, but in red. They're really Christmassy, gold and red and glittery. Ten ninety nine. Then I've got white and glitter, white and gold and silver in here. Gold, as they say, never mix your gold and silver, but they work, don't they? Uh, 25. Oh, hang on. Oh. Yes, it has. Oh, no, 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 no. It has been on air before. It has been on air before. But it's a new bundle, this one. It's exactly the same.
I had to, no, I had this one on with cat. And this one's open in the cupboard as well, over there. It's lovely though, isn't it? Look at the silvery one there. Snowflakes. How much is it? 10.99. Lovely, 10.99. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I may be wrong. I often am. Which one would you like to do next then? This one or this one? They're both green. 67 is this one. Right, so you get holly, you get the big leaf on green, you get the big holly, you get the green holly, and you get the big scrolly white and gold. Ten ninety nine. Hmm. Very limited this one. Very limited that one. Then I've got one more to show you before I move on. This one's like on um, calico, these like on calico, these. So you've got your holly, you've got your Christmas trees, you've got your big Christmas trees, there's a bit of glitter on there. You've got a little hot, oh! Oh, you've got two the same in this one, and then you've got your Christmas trees. So you've got Christmas trees in red on that one. Oh, they're the same, so you get two of those, two of those, and one of those, assorted. Okay, now, now that you've seen those, the wine totes are now flying out. Quilt, you go, you get three uh, patterns in here, three different patterns in here. Right, loads, you got that in your basket. But please be careful, if you've got it in your basket, please check out. $14.99. Makes all three of those, but they are three different designs, look. Okay, and then last but not least on this table, before I go to the other table, we have got the, um, isn't this the insulated bag, this one? Insulated chopper tote, this one. Now, it only makes one, only makes the one, but inside, your wadding is an insulated wadding. You've got your rubber band there for your buttons, and then you've got your webbing to make things, and you've got the plastic bottom to the bag in there as well, so you get an awful lot in there. Uh, there is, a, there is a, a demonstration of Delphine making this. I think it might have been my very first show with Delphine, actually. $23.99. June Taylor insulated bag. I'm not quite sure why they put three hoops in. Oh, yes, yes, sorry, I didn't see the buttons on there, yeah. I only, I've only ever seen the one, Delphine only put one in the middle. She obviously was very lazy that day. She's back from her holidays now, isn't she? Hmm? It's a lovely time. Twenty three ninety nine. Righty-ho, hang on, I'll just sort these out. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Righty-ho. Oh, that's the one. The which one? Okay, so hang on then. I've got the Queenie bag set. Queenie bag set, Queenie bag set. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that, now this, is you can make three bags with this. I've only got two of them here. I can explain though. You can make this bag, you can make this bag, and you can make this bag with a mini version of that clasp on. But there's enough in here, so you get the kit with all of the, uh, yeah, that's right, you get the kit with all of the um, uh, hardware, the instructions, and which one do you want? The white one or the champagne one? Right one, so that would make this, except the fabric there is different. So yours would be like that, like that, and like that. So this is this is her original one here. I think we had, oh yeah, yeah, I've been, um, okay. Yeah, that's a different fabric, look. No, because that fabric's in that bundle. 
So let me just double, what does the bundle of the champagne one look like? I'm just wondering if those two fabrics have got muddled up. So bear with us one moment. You definitely get the white, you definitely get the pink, you definitely get the purple, you definitely get the kit. Yeah, thought so, thought so. So you get this fabric, you get this fabric. I thought so because I did this show with her, you see. Cause, no, no, it's not your fault, it's, that's how it's come. I blame Kat, Kat and Vicky. Oh, actually, what we need also need to do then is just double check, well, make a note of it when it goes back, don't we? So you get all of that, enough to make three bags, 64 99 What date did we do it on? It was only last week, wasn't it? 25th of August. Please watch the demo. Please watch the demo. 25th of August. Also, if you get this, Baffa will also have, in the next few days, she'll have the full-on... Uh, demonstration of how to make this from start to finish because obviously we didn't have time to do the whole thing I know it's brilliant absolutely brilliant you will need to buy some H640 I think for this one yeah some H640 and some iron on interfacing which we had in the first hour okay so that's that one then we've also got it in champagne for everyone so that means that that I love this fabric look Look. So that bit there will be that bit there. That's the inside. That again will be that, but this one will be that colour. Look. Plus all of your in instructions and all your hardware and everything like that. You can make three bags out of it. Three different bags. You get all the hardware and everything that you need in there. Beautiful. Right, and we'll double check that you do get the right fabric when you get home. Oh, okay, so it's cat. Now you can get the hardware and the instructions on its own. If you'd like that and the zip and everything. So what you get in there is you get the paper pattern booklet, pull out pattern sheet, D rings, lobster class, magnetic class, zip, corner protector, mini press lock, and large press lock all come in there for $43.99. So if you've got your own fabrics at home that you want to use, then you can do so. Lovely. Right, hang on a second. Uh, that's it, isn't it? That, they're, the, they're the choices, aren't they? Yeah, they're the choices. Right, now, oh, I didn't bring the jet setter through. This one. Oh, well, I thought the jet setter was the one with the, uh, that we did this week. Right, now this one, just the pattern and hardware, the jet setter overnight bag. I got confused because the one we had was like all, anyway, it's not the bag. You don't get the fabric, just get the pattern and all the hardware in there. Jet setter overnight, good bag for an overnight. It's either going overnight or going on a flight. And there's a flap on the back here, which fits over most, you know, suitcases when they have the extendable handle that comes out like that. Okay, there's a the, there's the pocket on the front here. Pocket on the front there. I'm not sure where the iPad pocket is, though. My iPad, uh, it's a very small iPad, if that's it there. Anyway, it's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful. So it's just the pattern and the hardware we've got available there for the jet setter. It was demonstrated on the 14th of July, that one. Very few of those, though. Oh, right, a handful, literally a handful. Literally a handful of those. Okay. Then, the commuter bag, which is this one. Yeah, that's this one. It's, own, it's not the fabric. It's just the um, hardware and the instructions. But again, that's a really lovely little rucksack look. They go fit a laptop in here. 
15 inch. 14th of July. Same day as that one there. Beautiful. And then I've got one bag left, which is the Walk With Me bag. We've got, this is the bag itself here. You, we have, oh, it's upside down. We haven't got any fabric for this. It's literally just the hardware and instructions, 39.99. Yeah, that's the base of your bag in there. That's like the same as Lisa Lamb uses that, doesn't she? Okay, or if you don't want the hardware, you've got your own hardware, just want the pattern. Now remember with all of Becky Alexander Frost, if you go to her website, she's got a video, a YouTube of all of her bags, all of her bags. If it's not there yet, it will be there in the next week or so. £13.50. Pattern on its own is about to sell out. Right, don't go anywhere. We've got Rebecca Harrison coming up straight after break. She's using this book and she's going to show you lots and lots and lots of techniques. Four. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters so you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Hello, I'm Adele Rowland. You may have seen me on shows already. My passion is in dressmaking. I've been sewing now for about four years, completely self-taught. I've actually learnt a lot from the mistakes that I've made. In my normal day job, I'm actually a secondary school science teacher and one of the things that dressmaking has brought is the conversation starter with my students about the dresses, the tops, everything that I've made. I have two young daughters and a wonderful husband as well. One secret or surprising fact about me is that I actually have a silver world medal for Irish dancing. My dressmaking tip, top tip is Always remember your notches. Don't skip that part with dressmaking because those notches are very important to line up all of your seams. I can't wait to bring more dressmaking projects to you and get more people sewing. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day.
Rebecca's back, Rebecca's back, but this time, this, this now this has going to be a little bit different because normally we go, oh, we're going to be making this, we're going to be making that. We're not doing any of that this year. We've got this book called the... Dr this, did I say this year? <laughs> we're not going to do any of that this year. Should we start again? Rebecca Harrison's here this hour. Uh, now, you know, normally we say we're going to make something like this. Like, we're not going to do that this week, this hour, this show. We're going to use this book, right, which is called The Dressmaking Technique Bible. And it's got everything in it. It's a lovely, lovely book. And what Rebecca's going to do is she's going to show you some of the things. That, that was a bit fast, wasn't it? Some of the things that this book shows you how to do. Now, before we go to Rebecca, I'll just show you very quickly. It's got all sorts of things about... Everything, essential tools that you might need, needles and pins, haberdashery, how to measure yourself, everything like that, adapting a pattern. But it covers everything, right? I, I, in fact, let me take it from the front here because I can show you easier like this. So, getting started, stitch directory, hand stitches, machine stitches, textile directory, telling you all about different fabrics, how you sew them, what they're used for. Fabric manipulations, so that's seams and darts and tucks and pleats and elastic and gathering and zips bias cut, all the things we take for granted, which either you, if you've never done dressmaking before, uh, you might not know what they are. Or if you have done it, you think, oh, I can't remember how to do a bias. Everything's in here. Then you've got techniques, look, waistbands, hems, sleeves, cuffs, necklines, collars, fastenings, pockets, linings, embellishment ideas. It's got so many things in it. It's $14.99. It's a brilliant book. Uh, and it's called The Dressmaking Technique Bible. Fully revised and updated. So we're going to be using that book. Um, what I might do is I might start the show off and then as Rebecca uses things, I'll just, we'll just put the graphics in and I'll show you them over here very quickly. Is that all right? We'll leave the book in because it's all about the book. It's all about the book. Look at this, you see. There's so much information in here. There's, it's a brilliant, brilliant book to have. In your, people are multi-buying, not spice Christmas presents. Uh, but look, it's just got everything. All the things we just presume that we know, like darts or double-pointed darts or tucks or couture darts or anything like that. It's just lovely to have everything. You know, go days. I often talk about go day and people go, what's he talking about? What's he talking about? You forget that not everyone... Oh, there you go. There's the bias cut there. Making bias strips. Simple, but sometimes we always think, oh, do you know what? I can't remember how to do that. It's such a brilliant go-to book, isn't it? So, Rebecca. Hello. Oh, my word. How many <laughs> things have you got on the desk? Loads. So, what are we... Shall I just start? You start... You use calico, haven't you? I have used calico, yeah. Yeah. I love calico. I know, when it's we, got a great smell, Oh, no. It? Well, this is washed, Takes I think, this back, one. doesn't it? When we were at Wimbledon School of Art, and it was the teacher would be up on a desk at the front, a big cutting desk, and then there'd be a big roll of it, and you should just go and help yourself to it, and the yeah. smell was delicious. Uh, we've selling it by the half metre. It's already pre-shrunk, this one, so you don't need to wash it. It's £2.49 for half a metre. Obviously, if you buy it, if you want three metres... Oh, it's wide. Oh, hang on. Oh, there you go. There you go. Uh, half metre, £2.49. This is what Rebecca's used. This is brilliant because for making twirls with, for doing things like this, for practising with. Brilliant for dyeing as well. If you want to dye or print on calico. What, well, that one's already been washed, but if you wash it, uh, you can make really, really lovely things out of that as well. So, yeah. what are you going to show us and how are we going to do it? So, um, we're just going to show you some of the, um, some of the different seams, um, some of the pleats, uh, different hems. Um, what else have we got? Uh, pin tucks and different knife pleats and uh, those sorts of things. Um, pockets. And everything that you're going to show is in everything the book. Everything is in here. Well, there's, there's much, much more. You, oh, yes. You could spend the whole, you know. Yeah. Time. You're, yeah. Yeah. A whole year. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I meant. John was right. <laughs> uh, the book is here. We've got the calico at the moment. The book is here. Um, when I often talk to you about my first class with Fran Brister, who was a really, really famous costume maker in the West End and in opera and everything like that. And she was really, really strict. And the first lesson we had with her was we did this. They gave us a piece of calico and they said, go away and do a scene. Go away and do a French scene. And, but you, you couldn't move on to the next one until she'd okay. So you'd walk up to the desk with your straightforward scene. She'd go, no, do it again. 
No, and then as soon as that was good enough, you could then go on to your French team or whatever was next, everything like that. Yeah. And it was so strict. I thought, oh my goodness, if this is art school in London, I'm not come to the wrong place. Thing, but it's things like that, getting it right, and you know you can do it. Just makes you a better yeah. maker, doesn't yeah, it? Really? Yeah, yeah. I know we were saying this morning, weren't we, that I I can remember I had a folder with all of these in, and we had it in in you had it with you all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when the lecturer said, right, we're going to do this refer to and you go back through your folder yep. and so it's quite it's good to have these oh yeah just, totally. just to, i mean and obviously you've got this book to refer yeah, back to yeah. um but it's but it's good to have a visual as well and, yeah. you, and you can remind yourself of what you've done my folder also had in it all the instructions of how to do up draw a basic block for a man and a lady and yeah. that was the first thing that was in because that was like a technical that was like a technical drawing as yeah. well so that was in at the beginning and then these were all behind yeah yeah, yeah. So okay, let's, let's yeah. go then. What are we okay. going to do first? So, um, I think most people know how to do a, a basic scene, don't they? Yes. I, I would say. So, obviously, that's that's one of the first things that um, you learn. So, just a straight seam um, and give it a press. And then, obviously, that's that's that, really. Let's just talk about seam allowance then, because on this one, you've left what looks like... So, I've left, inch, I've left an inch. Right. Um, because I wanted you be, wanted you to be able to see. I feel like of course. Yeah. So so I mean the, the thing you could do is practice on your machine because I don't, I don't know about you but my machine at home that my my foot I I can tell. So if if I have it right up against the edge of the fabric it's a certain width. If I do it right up up to the edge of my um, overlocking I then get another. So you 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 get to know your machine and exactly. you get to know exactly where it is. But it's good to have a practice and to have that you know, write it down, write it on the fabric. I mean, I've, you know, I've written on, on the fabric here. So if you were going to put it in, um, you know, in a folder, yeah. you've got it there and you can see it at a glance. Also, some people don't know what seam allowance means. So if you just flip that over, if it says one inch seam allowance, it means you That's are true. doing an inch from... From the edge. ...of the fabric to your actual machine line. Yeah. So if it's a 5 8 seam allowance, it would be 5 8 of an inch from. So in your pattern earlier, you said a centimetre seam allowance. Yes. Yeah. Everything is then yeah. marked a centimetre in from that edge. So yeah, so I would just go along with my tailor's chalk and mark that in. So my centimetre. And then you know, put, put your pins in to guide you. And then you know that you've got to hit those marks yeah. all the way along. And then you know where you are. So yeah. Brilliant. Look at you. Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. Um, what should we go on to next? Let, let's, I'll tell you what, let's do a French seam because lots of people get confused, don't they, over French seam. Mm -hmm. So I've done, it on, I've done it on the calico, but it's hard to see it when you haven't got a fabric that's got a natural right side and a wrong side. So I've brought some fabric from, uh, from the previous uh -huh. show because, you, as you can see, there's a wrong side, there's a, there's a right side, so you'll really be able to see... Uh, the seam so it goes against everything that you you're sort of taught really because you're always when you do a pattern it's wrong sides together uh, right sides together rather yeah and you're you're sewing on the wrong side so when, when you do a french seam you're sort of doing it backwards so your right sides together first which feels a bit odd now no, no 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 yeah is it Wrong side. No, together. right side, sorry. Wrong, wrong side, sides sorry. Together. That's what I'm, yeah. yeah. Wrong side. Wrong side. You normally do it right sides right together. Right sides together. Wrong but sides together. On a French together. thing, you're doing yeah. wrong sides together. Yeah, wrong sides together. So it so it looks so it looks wrong yes. when you when you're doing it yeah. because it, it you know it doesn't look like it's right. So I've got a, a different coloured thread on here so that we can see uh, what we're doing. So okay. I'm just gonna do a foot's width away from the edge of the fabric uh -huh. so it's whatever so when whatever your seam allowance is you need to halve it because you've got to you've got to get a french seam in to whatever that seam is yes so so if it said one inch seam allowance on the actual garment you at that point you'd be saying half, half an inch yeah, in yeah. yeah and what you do is you trim it down because what you don't want to see is anything showing through yeah when you when you come to do it the other way, so just trim that down. Also, if you do the French seam on a fitted garment, 
you need to make sure that it's fitted, it fits before, because you can't really alter a No, fit. you can't, no. So let me just give that a press. It's just, it's a lot easier to see it on a, a, a patterned fabric. Yeah. So yeah, give it a good press. And then what you're going to do is turn it round and then press it again. So you've got that seam right on the edge. Give it another press that way. There you go. And then with what's left of your seam allowance, you're going to stitch down. when you open it up you should have a seam but you shouldn't have any of the uh, the threads poking through no so the right side looks like a normal so seam like, yeah and then you turn it over and obviously the wrong side it's all it's all encased so i mean this is a really good seam if you're using quite sheer fabrics mm -hmm. fabrics that you can't it's not very easy to overlock so if you're doing a chiffon, edge. like a little chiffon jacket or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, or organza or something like that. And you can just enclose it mm -hmm. all. And it just means that it's, you know, it's safe. You don't or have to worry about it. Or also, if you're using a silk, like a, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what they call it these days, habitai silk, a very, very fine silk. And you don't want to do overlocking in the ins on the inside because it'll be seen. Yeah. Not necessarily but through the fabric, but just if you press it, you'll then see, because the fabric's so fine, it's good to have a French seam yeah, on that as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, they, they are good. You find them a lot in, in um, coats and things like that, don't you? Do French, you? French seams. If, if they're not, you know, oh, if, yeah, they're not, if they're not unlined, lined, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a nice way of finishing them yeah. off. It's, but it doesn't it's nice just have to be a straight at. seam. You can do an art, you can put a sleeve in with a French seam. Yeah. It's complicated. Don't try it your first yeah. attempt. But you can put sleeves in with that yeah, French seam can. as well. Yeah, you can. But yeah, as you say, it's not it's not that easy. OK, before going to the next one, loads of people have got this in. You've got loads and loads and loads. You've got this book into your basket. Please make sure you start checking out. I don't want anyone to miss out on it. It's got so much valuable information in it. Look. It's there. And like I say, it's there when you need it. It's either a learning book for when you're first starting or just a reference book to have on, on your desk, or in your workroom, wherever, just in case you need it. Yeah, definitely. So this, I mean, this is a seam, this hairline seam, I've not, I've not used before. What's it called? Hairline seam. Right. Hairline I've... seam is like a French seam, only very narrow, which makes ideal for sheer transparent fabrics. It's not a strong, it's not a strong means of joining fabric pieces together, but it does give a light and delicate finish and is a perfect seam when sewing a chiffon overskirt or dress. Yeah. Oh, no, I've not seen this one before. No. So what does it, how do you do no. this then? So this, so if I get two pieces here. So what you do is, first of all, you're doing two straight stitches. So one very close, next to each other. Now have you got right sides together so or wrong sides? So side this, is, this, is your, um, this is your right sides together. Right. So I'm just gonna do the first one down here. So you're doing la two straight seams right next door to each yeah. other? Yeah, yeah. And that's because eventually you're going to cut quite close. So it's just, it, it's an added bit of security. Oh, yeah, if you are doing chiffon or something, it's very easy for it that to, to that, cut. That will just, yeah, yeah, that will just fray away, won't it? So, yeah. Oh, very close together. Yeah. Look. then I'm going to cut quite close. Oh, 
Yeah, because if that was a chiffon, that could easily frame yeah, past the first Yeah, it would just, go, it would just go, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it's just, you're just making sure, really, that that isn't going to go anywhere. And then you give it a press. Just quickly. And this is, this is quite good as well if you, um, you know, if you haven't got an overlocker. Yes. Or... Um, you know, you don't you don't want an edge or something. It's quite good to encase your seams. Messi mm -hmm. Vivienne. Hi John Becker, my old school teach teacher had us using a French team on everything we made from Vivienne. Wow. Well you should be good at them now. I was gonna say, on everything. Yeah. So, so what That's have you done? You so now, so all I've done is I've so I've folded that over. Right. So now what I'm going to do is on the on the on the edge, yeah. Um, I'm going to use a zigzag, and it's going to zigzag across. I don't know if you could pick that up on there because I did the same colour. So you zigzag across. Oh, okay. Um, to enclose. So the that's seam. on the inside of the garment. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Oh wow, so I've I'm never seen that before. No, neither have I. So let me just zigzag on this, so that one. And then I suppose doing a zigzag ensures that you catch even more of your chiffony bits in there, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's a much, that's oh. much shorter than I wanted it to be. Hang on. There we go. Obviously, you wouldn't do yours in the navy blue. No, no. I'm just doing that so yeah, everyone yeah, yeah, can yeah, see. Yeah. But obviously, use use a a thread that's the same colour. And then you turn it over, and it's encased. So it's a it's it's like a French seam, really. But it's got extra support. But it's, it? yes, yeah, because you've got that double row of stitching yeah. in there, um, and you've got the zigzag on. As and well. you've got the zigzag as well. So, yeah, it's um, it's a different way of doing yeah. it. But I that's, did, um, I've, I'd not I'd not. Um, I've seen not come that. across that no, before. No, I've not come across that before. When I did Oklahoma, I had to make in the dream sequence. You have to make a copy of Laurie's dress, but in chiffon, so she can do a ballet routine and thing. And the skirt was like four layers of chiffon, a cir each circular skirt, so hundreds of seams and everything. Yeah. And I didn't do that. I just went, oh, it'll be fine. I just seamed it. And then every night after the show, I have to go in there and patch and it up, patch it yeah. up, because it was all just fraying. Because they were doing a proper full on. Had to do a dance routine and everything and everything, and it was just getting completely. That oh, would have been brilliant because yeah. it would have held the scenes yeah, better. Yeah, hemming that as well. I'm not. <laughs> Please check out of your basket. Lots and lots. You got it in your basket. So, these these three are all quite similar. So you've got a flat fell seam, right. a welt seam, and a lapped seam. Okay. So they're all they're all quite similar. Um, in the way that they're done. So if we start with a f with um, the flat fell seam. Right, a flat fell is popular for jeans and re for reversible garments since it forms a strong and neat join. All the raw edges are tucked away and enclosed by a second line of stitching. So you start off as normal. I'm just going to get rid of this. Um, yeah, because you don't need overlocking. I don't need an overlocking yet. edge on there, so I'll just get rid of that. Oh, flat fell, sorry, not run and fell, flat fell. So you're just doing what would be just, right sides together, yeah, normal Yeah, so I'm just doing a normal seam. seam. I'm just going to trim that a bit because that's a bit... I do know about dressmaking, but I've got wonky. this to keep to hand for when my mind goes blank. Well, at your age, Kate. It's Kate's birthday today, everyone. So what you're going to do is... So uh, just going to crease that down there. Uh-huh. And I'm going to trim away the underneath seam. 
So I'm going to make one, just one. So don't don't do both. Yeah, don't cut both. Don't cut both, just one. So I'm going to trim that to sort of half the size. Like so. And then this one. So you've got that on the top. So you're gonna you're gonna do a tiny little. I should have done a bigger. On a, on a jean seam, you'd it's have wide, you'd have yeah. you'd have it bigger than this. But you're just gonna turn that under. So it's hiding all those raw edges. Uh huh. And then you top stitch that down. Now, are we on the? outside or the inside of the garment there on the inside so, of the garment there well i think it depends really it depends if you want to make it a, a feature a feature so you know like you were saying on your jeans you you see this yeah exactly. don't I, you i've got them on my these you've jeans. not got them oh, on no i've got jeans on but they don't got these seams on them which makes a change no this one's got a seam like it's been understitched oh okay Half the stock of the book's gone. You mean you do need to check out loads and loads and loads. You've got this in your basket. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay, Calico, which is supposed to be in uh, uh, Sunday show as well. There's only five metres left of the Calico, just so you know. Okay, and then what do you do? How you and then stitching? all I'm doing is I'm top stitching now onto, right. onto that the the um, the seam that I've just turned. Right. Oh, yeah, so if you're making a, a tweed coat or if you're making jeans, then I'd do it on the outside. I'd definitely do it on the outside. Yeah. Mind you, difficult on tweed, isn't it? You yes. To, well, that's why you matching. need a clapper. If you have a clapper so you can steam it before you sew it, then that makes it a lot yes. easier. So, obviously, that's, that's your one side. Mm -hmm. You've got your two rows of stitching. And then the other side, obviously, you've just got your one right. row. So it depends which way you want to do it. But m most of the time, you do this sort of stitch because you want to see the uh, the two rows of stitching. Yeah. Um, Apparently, my jeans have got a mock flat fell seam on them. Oh, OK. That ends up looking like a line of understitching. Yeah. So the... The welt and the lapped seam uh -huh. are, they're, they're sort of, that's the fell, not the fell. Don't want that one, I want that one. That's the one. Okay. So they're sort of the same, because if you look on the back, yeah. you can see that it's pushed over to one side, uh -huh. and they've got two rows of stitching on them. Um, but the, the one, so the welt seam, you only see one line of the top stitching right and the lapped seam um you've got the two again a bit a bit it's, it's like the flat fell seam uh -huh. except that on the back so you've, you've, you've actually in. no you've you've got you've still got that seam allowance showing whereas that one it's all it's all tucked in right so it's they're they're very very similar yeah 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 but i suppose what you'd use is you'd use the welt seam for the thicker fabrics because if you cut yeah. away and then turn that one over and under. You've got then four layers of fabrics, whereas that way you've still only got yes. two layers of fabric. Yeah, you? yeah. So, yeah. So I don't, I don't know if you want me to. Is that okay? no, no, no? That's that fine. Right? That's yeah. fine. We'll carry on to the next thing. Okay. We've had an Wonderful. email from who? Sorry. Oh, Alison, Marion, Marion, Alison. Lorna Knight, who wrote the book, has a sewing academy just outside Leek in Staffordshire. Oh. She's a. Lovely lady, well worth a visit. I wonder why she emailed in today. Oh, okay. So where are we going on? So to now we're gonna we're gonna have a look at darts. Darts, okay. Then. Okay. So can I also just say in the book, right? They're not the only seams. I'll just show you no, very quickly no, in not. here, right? So there's plain seam, French seam, which we covered, hairline seam, which we covered. Then we did the flat fell seam. We've just spoken about the lapped and welt, but look. You've also got taped, boned, exposed, overlocked, enclosed, 
And then these are other seam finishing. Overlocking, Hong Kong finish, which I talk about a lot because that's where you get a bias binding put down the side. Uh, making your bias binding for that. Overcasting, pinking, zigzag finish, straight stitch finish. Then we're on to the darts, which is what yeah. we're going to do now. So, so, so it's so not much, like there? there's loads and yeah. loads and loads in there. And sometimes there you look at a garment, you think, well, I don't even know what that seam is. Yeah. This book will be brilliant going, oh, it's up, uh, whatever. Yeah, exactly. No. Calico sold out now. Mm. You know. Right. So you've got so you've got your single pointed dart. Yes. And then you've got your double. Right. Which we I think we we touched on because last time I was on here I did a dress. It was a Sus it was yeah it was a Sussex yeah, yeah. dress. Yeah yeah. So the dart went from the, the bus to the waist and then back and then down out the again. Yeah. 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 So so there's that and then obviously there's the bus dart which is what I did on the yeah. on the top there earlier. So. Your um, so your your uh, single pointed dart on your whatever you're doing. So it's usually your your bust dart or your darts on your skirts or trousers. That mm -hmm. that'll be a single. Um, so I'm just going to draw one in here. So usually it's something like that on your pattern. Yeah. Um, so you fold it in half. And just, I mean, we did it earlier, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Chantelle's received a voucher book. The postman's just been. So maybe yours, all the others are missing. Perhaps they'll come today. So there you go. That's your single one. Uh-huh. Like that. And like I did, did earlier, and we were talking about er earlier, you can either do... Um, your back stitch at, at the end, or let it run off and tie it off, mm -hmm. um, depending on uh, what you feel always, comfortable. Always, always, always sew from the widest bit. Don't so you from the, the widest bit to your point, because then you can um, you can let the machine naturally run away. So so you're not ending up with this uh, quite severe point because yeah. it needs it needs to be quite natural. So you the the double. Which is we were saying you get on uh, dresses and um, uh, coats and things yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Don't don't you to it because it's it's um, it's it's for the shaping from the bust over the waist and then down uh, yeah. to your hips. Dresses, jackets, and coats. The double pointed dart. Yeah. Actually. So if I just mark one out here. Normally, they'll, it'll be on, you won't it'll need be to on create it. They're already on the pattern. They're yeah. drawn onto the pattern. This is where a tailor's ham comes in useful as well to, yes, um, very to much. press a dart. Have we got one? Tailor's ham, I can get you one. So Which with, department with, will they be in, Hannah? Yeah, with the double, you're going to start in the middle yeah. and work your way um, out to the point. So do a little back stitch. Thank you. So... Um, so I've started, so I've gone from the middle right. to the end. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to start again from the middle. Did you do a reverse? I can see. You did a reverse. I did a reverse yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't at the end here. I've left some to, to not. I've got the ham. <laughs> 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 okay. Karen says, brilliant demo today. Thank you, Rebecca. A book is great, you. but much better to be able to watch each of the techniques. Yeah, but Karen, if we were here doing every technique, we'd be here till next year doing There's so much in this book. I did say year at the beginning, Baxter, didn't I? You did. Um, so now, it, would you at any point do it all in one? Would you go, would you ever start at the top and go down and then back I, down again? I mean, I'd be lying if I said I'd never had, yeah. because I have. Yeah. Um, but if you were doing a couture garment, but yes, I mean you really, you really should because you get a much better finish yeah. if you go from the centre out and and uh, yeah, do it like that. Yeah. And then o also, I'm sorry, you have to go on. No, go on. No, no. If you do go from the top to the middle to the bottom, sometimes you can get that 
weird little pucker at the top and the bottom of the dark. Yes. There's nothing worse, is there, when you see somebody wearing a blouse or, or a blouse with a dark going that way, and at the top of the dark, there's like this funny sort of crease almost. No matter yeah. what you do, you can't get rid of it. You can't press it out or anything no. like that. Christine says, lovely show, Rebecca. I'm off to work now. Oh. See you later, Christine. <laughs> this is where you need a tailor's ham. Yeah, the tailor's ham is amazing for this. Now, would you... We had to, I can't remember who it was on a few weeks ago, and they did a dart like this, and they snipped it in the middle. I've never, ever no, snipped a I've dart in the middle. No, I've never done that. No. You see, but in the book here, it says it's often necessary to snip, snip. into the dart yeah. to allow it to lie flat. But yeah. I've never, ever, ever... I've never had to do that, I no. have to say. No, I've never had to do that. But I also think, um, think it'll weaken it. If you, if you snip into a dart, yeah. I think... Yeah, well, you're, well you're, you're, yeah, you're leaving it, aren't yeah. you, to... Um, you can't finish it off. No. No, very difficult to finish that off. Jan's loving your demo. Oh, thank you. Not just how to, but why to as well. Oh, that's a nice... Yeah, that's a nice... Yeah, I haven't even thought about little that. Little ham. I haven't, haven't got a stand. But anyway, that's your... So if I put it on the ham... Yeah. So imagine that's your, you know, going over your body. Yeah. So the top go, of it is go your that way. bust dart. Yeah. So we'll go, uh, you know, nip, nip in at the waist and then back out yeah. again. Yeah. I mean, there's there's a... So many people that have come on here to do dressmaking have had have done those sorts of yeah yeah but we just we just do it we don't do because we, we don't you know when you're doing a dressmaking show you go oh, I've just put in the dart or I've already done the dart yeah you don't think that it's important for somebody to see no no that's it so I'll just quickly I'll quickly do this single one right yeah so I've got the single pointed dart here. So the single point dart, the double pointed dart. But what we haven't covered, look, is your couture dart as well. So the couture dart is a professional designer's trick to improve the finish of a dart. It's to add fabric to it instead of adding bulk, as you'd imagine. This, in fact, helps shape the garment. So they could read all about that as well. Um, and also, there are different ways of finishing off. Like okay. we said, you can either run off the edge and knot them. Um, you can also go down to the bottom of the dart and then you kind of do a tick back into the dart as well, which if you don't want to run off the end, that could, because you, you're then not, you're then taking, your, you, you're stitching into the actual dart, so it's still got a really, really nice clean finish. So there's couture dart there as well. I just don't think people realise how much is actually in this book. Look, there's all the kind of techniques at the end there for embroidery, there's lining, there's different pockets, which we're going to come to in a minute, press studs, buttonholes, all different fasteners. Look, shirt, collar, notched collars on jackets, halter neck, jacket i mean there's so much in here look at all those different cuffs there and also the other thing that is in here is at the beginning we're not going to cover this today but at the beginning if you buy for example a pattern a commercial pattern i've just got a butterick pattern in there and you want to adapt it for it tells you how to measure yourself be honest right it tells you how to shorten trousers, lengthen trousers. It tells you how to, if you've got a large tummy, if you've got a large bottom, or if you want to move the waist, you want bust adjustments. It's got, they're very simple, they've simplified them, but you, if you get a pattern like that that doesn't fit you properly around the bust, you can play with it by just doing what they're showing you in there as well. So there's so much in this book. Right, what are you going on there to is. next? So, uh, tucks. Tucks. Oh, yeah, that's the next page. Yeah. Now, so which one are you thing. doing? So are we've you got, doing space? We've got pin, space. Twin needle. Pin. I've got twin, but I haven't got a twin needle here. Oh, okay. But um, we can I, talk I about know. how a twin needle yeah. works. We won't yeah. do it, but we can talk about yeah. how to do it. Yeah. Um, yeah. So pin, pin tucks, space tucks, pin tucks, and you twindle. But they. Uh, if you twindle. <laughs> Did I say twindle? Twindle. That's twindle. a nice one. A twindle. And you twindle needle. That's a that's a new type of. Uh, of needle yes. your twindle <laughs> but they're good they're great for um sort of ad adding a bit a bit of texture decoration aren't they i, I mean i love a, pin, a blouse with a pin tuck on or I, I my friend roxy when she got married i made her mum's outfit for the wedding and it was up the shirt was all silk and it was dark green here and pale green here and the whole of the yoke was completely pin tucked oh. in the tiniest tiny and it's so satisfying when you yes. get when you do pin tucks yeah like that. yeah but you can see instantly, can't you, mm. if they're not oh, yeah, exactly if you get it wrong. Yeah, yeah, straight. Yeah. So you do have to, yeah, you do have to think about it. 
So spaced tucks, so you, all you're doing really is making lots of different seams um, spaced oh, out, basically. Oh, they're very big pin tucks. No, this is the pin tucks. <laughs> this, is, this, this is your spaced, your spaced tuck. This yeah. is your spaced tucks. When would you use a spaced tuck then? Let's have a look. I, well, I would, I would use the model because I, I think that's quite nice down a... Yes, yes, but also if you want a flat skirt, flat waist on your skirt, you could do your tucks around the yoke and then stop them yeah. when it gets to the hip and then you've got the fullness of the fabric yeah, coming out. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So... Wonderful day with you two with experts, one. says an out collector in Bamfshire. Got loads oh. of good messages. And says, this is a great show. Glennie said, finding it very interesting. Julie says, absolutely Rebe love Rebecca and her demos. Such a talented teacher. Oh. Glennie says, the book looks so interesting. I've got to go and buy it. Pat says, brilliant demos today. Fabulous. Thank you, Rebecca. That's Geraldine says, this is great. Thank you, Rebecca. Glennie's book purchased it. Um, less than 30 books now. Less than 30 books left now. I don't know if we'll get it back in again either. Oh, hang on. Hannah's gone to get something now. I'm not quite sure what she's getting now. Oh. No, she's gone <laughs> she away. Just get, she's she's had, got, I got she's a flick the of the hand. hand just the hand that. there. <laughs> so I'm just going to press that first one. Okay, so what did you do? Tell me what I you just, did. I literally just did. Um, so decide um, what depth you want do you want your, um, your, your tuck to be. Yeah. So while all I've, I've done... Um, a foot's width away right. because then it's easy to do. So, and I've just pressed it over and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide how far I want my space tucks. Yes, uh, I think the space is in yeah, between them. Yeah, yeah, I said space. Yeah. Space, uh, not, not in space, obviously. She hasn't eaten anything. Have no, I haven't. No, I haven't. You never no. do, do you? No, I don't eat breakfast. Ever? Ever. You see, Dulcie doesn't either. No, I'm, I'm, it just, no, I can't do it. Mm. I know, is that weird? Yeah, but it's it's twenty to twelve now. Yeah, I know. You're not starving. Um, not really. Um, no. And then, then the trouble is, I then go and eat the wrong. Yes, because you're hungry. You go and do your the supermarket wrong, shop. The you're wrong hungry. sort of stuff. Okay, so yeah. you've measured. So from, I've just measured. Right. From this, from this. Uh, from the pleated edge. From the pleated edge. Yeah. So I've done about an inch right. there. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to sew that down. So I'm just moving the iron. Mm -hmm. Margaret says, blimey, there's so much I don't know. Loving the masterclass, just fabulous. Yeah, but there's, there's, I, I, I would say you, you learn all the time, don't you? Because I, I had never seen that hairline. No, no, I've, uh, and you've seen, been sewing for donkey shoes. Uh, yeah, and I'd, I've, I've never seen that yeah. before. I've not, I've not used it, but it's in there now, and I'm yeah. thinking, all oh, right, okay. I can use that. When can I, when can I use that? Yeah. But it's good, you know, it's good to be able to refer back to a book. Yeah. And who doesn't love a book? So there's my other one. Let's see if we can, I'm going to do one a bit nearer as well. Yeah. So it's just, you know, it's however, it's however you want to do it. However decorative yeah. you want to do it. So let's do three quarters. Uh, how long have I got, did you say? Okay, 17 minutes. Oh, crikey. I know, right. I know. It's only looks okay. a clock there. Right, exactly. okay. Right, well, <laughs> what should we... What should we... Do, do little pin tucks next. Right, they're, okay. They're, 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 this one, I think we can all get... You once we realise how you do it, yeah. it's quite simple, isn't it? That, but pin yeah. tucks, like you say, yeah. if you do a pin tuck and it's not quite right, you can see it yeah. straight away. So there's, there's mine, mine, little pin tucks. Right. So you literally go on the edge. So let's... Start in the middle. That's not a perfect square. No. And that's my excuse. <laughs> <laughs> so literally, you so just folded right, the fabric. I've just now, folded did you fabric. press it or did you just fold it? I've just folded it, but you. But I, I tend to press them afterwards. Oh, okay. I press Unless, the first one. Yeah. So then you know you've definitely got your straight line yeah. and your straight edge. Unless you want to leave them. Because they're oh. quite they're quite nice when they yeah no I I like them to be they stand if a up aren't is they? there to be formal yes so I am going to go as close to the edge as possible because I want tiny tiny yeah. little pin tucks it's 
so you, you can't you can't take your eye off this. No. Don't lose concentration. Doing it. So there's my first one. Yeah. So now, from there, get your tape measure out, and either a bit of tailor's chalk or a bit of pencil or something. Now, are you measuring from your actual sewing line? I'm this time? I'm going to measure from from my stitch line. <coughs> there. So I know that I want that pretty close. Yeah. So I'm going to mark that at about a quarter of an inch, and I'm just going to very lightly. Mark that in. I need to sharpen my tailor's chalk. Yeah. I need nice shiny new like you've got here. Sold out in the tailor's chalk. Oh. Just sold out. Also, we won't get time to go through them, but on the pre-order, pre I've got scissors, pinking shears, interfacing, tape measure, quick unpicks, little snips, a curved ruler, which if you're going to draw, this is brilliant for readapting, adaptable. I've only got a few of these left if you are going to adapt some patterns and, and some um, sewing patterns. They're all on pre-order. There's your next one. Uh huh. And you just keep going. Yes. So we can, you know, just so keep going. So what I do different. when I'm doing this is I get a big piece of fabric, and I do all my pin tucks. Yeah. Then Mark I put the them pattern, all. Then I put the I sew them all, and then I, put, I press it. Then I put the pattern piece on top ah, of it. Ah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so that way, because if you cut a pattern piece and then do pin tucks, if you are the a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, that's going to misshape the whole piece. Yes. So I would, I would get a bigger piece of fabric pin tuck it all like that and then place the pattern piece on the top of it Absolutely. so you know you've got your seamers that are in exactly yeah. the right place yeah yeah so do yes do all that first <clears throat> before you because it's amazing how much fabric that takes up isn't mm -hmm. it when you, you don't realize when no. you're doing you think all right i've got a piece of fabric this this wide yeah and you've got all your pin tucks in and it ends up you yeah, know, yeah, Dan, it, true, is, yeah. it is amazing. But it's very satisfying, isn't totally, it? Totally, totally satisfying. Completely satisfying. Right, can you talk me through, if I, we're not going to do a twin needle because you have to set your, your machine to it yeah. and everything, but if you've got a twin needle, how would that work? So, I don't know if you can, can you see that there? Do you want me yeah. to move this mat? Or no, no, it's, okay? fine. it's okay? fine. So, your twin needle, so it, it's doing two, your two rows of stitching um, very close together yeah um, and and as it as it's doing so as you can see you can do them wider these ones I've done very very close together yeah. here which makes a lovely effect but it kind of sort of bobbles a bit in the middle yes. do you know what I so mean so it raises it a little bit a pin tuck you're doing a pin tuck effect yes but what it's doing is when you're doing your two lines it just kind of cinches them slightly together so it creates a yeah, nice little yeah. speed bump so it looks like um, a little pin tuck, but it's a but it, I mean, it's it's a great effect, isn't it? It's oh, yeah, no, really totally. lovely totally. effect, um, and f you know, quite satisfying yes. to do to just but don't forget <coughs> when you do a twin needle, you need two threads on the top, yeah. So you put the twin needle in the same as you normally put a needle into your machine that you only have one bobbin, obviously. And what happens is, is the machine when you're doing it goes like that between the two, so on the other side. The thread's going like that between the two lines, but on the front you get your two very yes. straight lines. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Right, now let's move on to you doing pleats next. Red, yes. It's up we to can you do, where you no, want to go. We on can to do say. absolutely do pleats. Got ten minutes. Right. Now we so, often talk about this because lots of our guests do pleats and we go, Oh, is it inverted? Is it a knife? Is it a box pleat? So um we, what are you gonna Here show? Here we go. So right. this is your inverted. Right, hang on a sec, we have to look at that. Which is like your tennis skirt, really, yes. your school skirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, school yeah. skirt, yeah. So um, on the back, it's like so on that. The back, so it's a box so you're pleat. on the back, it's a box pleat. So you've got your seam there, and then you just um, equal it either side. Yeah. Um, and then obviously your box pleat. That way. Um, is Going. that way? No, that way. There yeah, we go. Yeah, That's right your box pleat. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously it's 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 that, but the other way round. Yes. 
Um, yeah. And normally on a box pit, have you gone all the way down or have you stopped? The no, no, that? no, I've stopped. Yeah, yeah, so, so kicks, what you so do is you out. use the box pleat at the top to take take it in and cinch it and then you stop the box pleat and then it, the skirt flares out. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it's whatever, it's whatever effect you yeah. want really. So a box pleat is the one with the boxes on the front and an inverted has got the box on the back but it's still a box pleat but the other way around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All in the book, box pleats, yeah. inverted pleats, box pleats, knife pleats. Yes, so your knife pleats are, so they're all facing the same way. Yeah. Um, e uh, spaced out equally, um, so they, they they sort of lap one over each other. Again, a bit it's a bit like a tennis skirt, isn't it? My yes, my yes, yes. gym skirt was like yeah. this, my PE skirt. Um, so yeah, so they 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 tend to go the same way. And they're more flattering to wear than a box box pleat. Yes. So if you want flat and flare, you do your knife pleats and you do them all. So in the middle, you're going to end up with a box pleat in the middle because you don't want a skirt with them all going from all the way from left to right. So you normally start in the middle there with a the box split and then work and they go that way towards yeah. the side seams. It's very, very flattering. They're all stitched down yes. so that it's flat over your tummy and then it just flares out when yeah, you need the Yeah, it's a lovely effect, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Okay, so, so that's in there. Next? What have you got next? Um, so I've got hems or pockets. Do pockets, uh, wait, it's up to you really. Pockets, Can next. Let's have a look at pockets. It's all, it's all in it's, it's, here. It's, it's all, all in, in here. there. So we've got gathering. Yeah, yeah. We've got zips. How much further through is it? Zip, 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 zip. Single figures on the book. Single figures on the book now. Um, whereabouts is pockets? Can you remember? Pockets I've is, I've put little there. things in. It's 222. Found it, found it, found it, found it. Yeah. So we've got... Uh, uh, we've so you've got, got your, your patch. Pocket flap. So I've got flaps first. Then yeah. I've got pocket patch. Welt pocket. Yes. Breast pocket, trouser pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So your 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 basic uh, patch pocket is obviously a piece of fabric that you've um, shaped into whatever. You, you can have uh, um, rounded corners or square, uh -huh. and it and it sits flat on top of your fabric, and you top stitch down. Right. You, usually a double stitch round. Um, and and that that's your that's your basic patch pocket there right, okay. really, um, and then your welt pocket is this is you you, have, you get these on uh, trousers waistcoats uh, waistcoats yeah. Um, yeah it's normally the back pocket on a trouser it isn't is it? yeah yeah so it's it's um, so I've enclosed it there because that's the pocket bag but yeah. it's it's it's. Have we got time? Yeah, to, do, it, yeah. do it. I think this one would be, yes, I think this is the one. If we don't get to the others, it doesn't. I know you've done loads of work for us, but I think it's quite nice to do it. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay, so it's the opening. So decide on the length of your of the op opening of your pocket. Yeah. So I'm just going to draw a line, say, four inches. And then it's how wide you want this opening yeah. to be. What's it called when there's just one? Hang on, this is a, this is a, hang on. This is a welt pocket. What's it called when there's just one of those things? Like on a waistcoat, it, the, the one here has only got one, hasn't it? I'll think about that. Can yes. you carry on, sorry? Oh, I've gone blank. Yes. It's still, it's still a wet, is it? They've called it, they've just called it's it a breast pocket, but it's actually yeah. got a name where, you know, like the one that Rebecca's doing has got like a bit of the flap at the top and a bit flap at the bottom. The one on a waistcoat here normally comes up and it's just the one that comes up and covers the whole section. Right, oh, thank so. you. I'm not going on my holidays yet, but thank you very much for all your messages. I'm not going, I'm here till Friday, what day is it? Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but thank you very much indeed. Right, Keep so hydrated. I will, don't you worry. <laughs> Oh, it's grease, it'll be fine. Uh, Do you know what a pin tuck so foot does? Jennifer just said, how's a pin tuck foot work? I've never seen one. I'll look it up for you, Jennifer, oh, do that another no, day. I've never we'll look seen up one either. Because we're so used to just doing it the old fashioned way, yeah. I don't quite know what I've, no, I've never seen that right, either. Right, okay, so, so I've marked, yeah, I've marked that on there. So you're going to put um, a piece of fabric, I won't see it that now, will I? Right. I should have marked that. See, I'll mark it that way round. Do it that way round. Yeah, do it that way round. Yeah. So um, you're going to place that on top of there. Put some pins. I, w I would 
um, tack this yeah. usually. So the bit underneath is your garment. Yeah. And the bit you're putting on the top now is your pocket detailing. That's right, isn't yes. it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, you tack this, would you? I would I would just tack around that just to keep it in place. Uh -huh. Yeah. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna you're gonna stitch um all the way around that little box there. Yeah. Um so you've decided how long you want it, how wide and how you want wide the I want thing, it. And yeah. now you're gonna just do stitch line right the way round the whole like a letterbox, like a letterbox. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Let's move that pin a bit close. You might have seen um, Debbie doing something like this a bit with her, with her when she does her letterbox zips on her handbags as well. So yeah, so you're you're basically just going all the way round. Yeah. And never finish on so a corner. Never finish on a corner. Okay. And then what, what you want to do is, so we've got, a, we've got to cut through here. Yeah. But what, what you have to do is, at, at, at the corners, you need to do like a triangle. Thank you. So um, I'm going to go up about a quarter of an inch there. And then I'm just going to draw a line from the corner to the point to the point that's it and if you've not done this before before you draw a line down the center of your oblong as well yeah you can't see mine i'm gonna no. i'm gonna there you go perfect there you go so down there Okay, okay so now. that's what it looks like, yeah. So, this is when you need to be brave. Yes. So, I always fold mine in half. And I'm just going to make a tiny little, I'm not going to cut it all. Yeah. But I'm just going to do that so I can get my scissors in. And then you cut to the end now you need to s stop at that point yeah don't go any further and then you angle your scissors and go all the way down to the corner yeah. as close as you possibly can but obviously without going through your stitches yeah. and the same on the other side also if you're doing this in a pair of a men's trousers if you used a wool worsted just be careful I'd practice on a, a stable fabric like a calico or a cotton. Yeah. Fabric. It's called a single welt pocket, says Max. Oh, the there one you go. being demonstrated is also known as a bound pocket. Oh, there you go, Max. No more than I do. Right, okay, and then so I'm, then, I'm only holding you because I know we've only yeah. got a couple of minutes. So left. then we're going to pull that through. Yeah. And you'll end up with with like a sort of li a little window there. Yeah. So then you need you need to measure obviously measure this. I'm going to do this quickly, but measure this because you need half from the top showing. Yeah. And half from the bottom showing. And you need to press all that down. Yeah. And then yeah, you'll you'd and then you'll your you'll slot stitch first yeah. of all anyway, wouldn't you? And then you you stitch it all in place. Yeah. Got one bigger than the other yeah. there, but you know you understand what I'm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are putting you under a lot of pressure to. <laughs> and then you just either either hand stitch. Yeah. You can either hand stitch round. Um, or the whole box. Or, uh, the whole box, or on the on the machine, do a little top stitch round. Yeah. And keep it all. Um, neat and in place uh -huh. and then what happens at the back and then at the back so you usually um, you'd have uh, this part would pro probably be a, um, a lot longer yeah and you you 
you take it up to that point or yeah. there. Yeah. Um, stitch all the way round, and that's your. That becomes your that's, pocket that's bag. That's your pocket bag. So, like I've done here. Yeah. So it becomes your pocket bag inside. Um, brilliant. But that's yeah. No, no, it's brilliant. I consider I only gave you two minutes to do it. <laughs> I would have done that. Anyway, the book is amazing. So thank you very much indeed. It's okay. We've got more books in baskets than we've got stock of. When are you in next? Um, seventeenth uh, of October. Oh, quite a big, big, yes. big gap. So we'll see you then. Yes. Then. Thank I you will. very much. Have indeed. a lovely holiday. I will. Thank you. Right. <laughs> you need to check out. You need to check out. You need to check out. I'm only rushing because we've got to go to Yarn Lane. That's all. Fourteen ninety nine. Brilliant, brilliant book. The dressmaking technique by by Lorna Knight. She's a lovely lady in Staffordshire. Right. Uh, Max says you two are so knowledgeable. It really helps. Uh, it is. It's a nightmare to do that. Right. Tomorrow's menu is here. Eight o'clock. It's me tomorrow. Pre-cuts at eight o'clock. We've got Scandi floral cushions with Janice Hobbs at nine. Ten o'clock. We've got designer fabrics. Children's toys with Janice Hobbs at eleven. And another yarn lane tomorrow. We've got Carrie Gardner in doing blankets and cushions for wool couture. Please. Now, today is the first day of your voucher. So um, come over to Yarn Lane with me because you get a voucher, not off the things that are on the show, but on Yarn on the website, you can use your voucher for the first time. If you're not coming with me to Yarn Lane, I'll see you tomorrow morning. If you are coming with me to Yarn Lane, if you're watching on the telly, stay where you are. Or if you're on the YouTube, Facebook or the website, you do need to go and find the Yarn Lane version now. I've not met Sarah before, I don't think, so it'd be nice for me to meet somebody new. Got gorgeous natural jumpers, natural yarn coming up and everything. It's either from a blue faced Lester or it's from a, a what? A Jacob, a Jacob. Right, um, and also don't forget if you bought something from me this morning, your P&P is paid for if you come over and buy something from Yarn Lane. I'll see you either tomorrow morning on Sane Street at eight o'clock or I'll see you in four minutes on Yarn Lane.